I was describing that there was something at the end of the corridor. Something nice, right? Yeah. Flat. Yeah, there was like a ring of. We, ring of, I, yeah, there was ring. kind of like a sort of a strange ring of dinner. mushrooms, and oh. inside the ring of mushrooms, and that's like literally where we left off. We didn't say what was inside the oh, ring of mushrooms. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's oh. right. Oh. Okay. So what's inside the ring of mushrooms? Well, um, I'll tell you what's inside the ring of the mushrooms. Um, so, Trip, you are officially closest to the ring of mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Roll me a d4. Oh. And I'll tell you what's inside the ring of mushrooms. Oh, you have to put a space between the things. I did put a space. There we go. Uh, three of them. A three. Okay. Okay, um, there is what appears to be a wooden carving of some form of animal. Uh, we're using dynamic lighting, so what you're seeing is kind of here. Um, you can't really make out what the animal is. It's laying on its side, but it is in the little ring. Is it whiskey? Probably not. Um, I'm going to approach Cosby's dead. <laughs> Long live the whiskey. Could be, a, could be a carving of whiskey. No. Okay. Carving. Can't prepare my weapons and hope it doesn't explode on me. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll kind of give him some backup here too. Alrighty. All right, you eek a little closer. Um, got the three stooges moving up. Um, now mm -hmm. you're a little closer. You can make it out a bit more. Uh, it is the small wooden carved effigy of what appears to be a stag or a deer. Hmm. I think that's our quarry then. But she's the huntress, right? Um, Safe? Not sure. Um, unless so you can just freely tell if this is magical, otherwise save your spells. And I'm going to uh. check my HPs. Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Trip, I will hold my spells. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna very cautiously using the tip of my, my little saber just kind of pull it to me. <laughs> Knock it out of the yeah, mushroom the circle. ring. I don't, okay. I don't trust like that. I've heard right. folk tales. I've written folk tales. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. Um, it, it comes out without any issue. It is now laying at your feet. I'll, uh, pick it, up. Uh, it is about probably about twelve inches long, um, maybe about six inches high with the, at the body, and then an extra three for the head to give you the kind of rough dimensions. I uh, like hold out my it. hand and I say, "Can I look at it?" Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Uh, oh, have you picked it up? Uh, yes. Oh. Oh, okay. Do I transform? Uh, no, uh -oh. but. Oh. Um, when you pick it up, um, you feel something weird. Um, it has a heartbeat. You can feel like... So when Gemma offers to hold it, I'm going to immediately hand it to her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, you can look at it. No problem. Um, okay. Um, yeah, so you'll be very familiar you'll basically have the same thing since you pick it up you can like feel like a very gentle beat inside this thing like a heartbeat so i say it loud wow this thing's alive uh what um uh, i'm going to like inspect it further with, uh i can use kana to see if it's magical or what what uh what you can is, you can make a um arcana roll if you wish Um, there's definitely no kind of openings or anything like that that would indicate that there's any kind of possible mechanism or anything like that. Um, it's a fairly reasonable guess that it is somehow enchanted or magical. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to look at it. Okay. Uh, come to life. Reveal yourself. Um, hello? Say please, honey. Please come to life. 
And reveal I, yourself? I think my theory on the matter is um, if this is our quarry, we are to hunt this. Um, and it's a representation, perhaps. I don't understand. I'm just going <laughs> off of intuition here, but uh, we are in the Golgias tree, Golgias tree, which is the home of the mistress, the huntress, uh, and she hunts, and this would be a sort of totem architecture in a arcane thing over there. Probably makes that the thing that we need to go after. So maybe there's uh, one of these down here. Um, I I'm sorry, but uh, aren't we trying to free this person? Yes, this is her trial for us to do that. So, so what if she's that? Just trapped in the heartbeat thing. Well, how do we leave here with it? Are you a fane? If yes, heartbeat twice. <laughs> we all listen very intently. If, if it's heartbeating constantly, what did you throw out? <laughs> yep, uh, I mean, it, there is no change in the rhythm. Uh, and you can only feel the heartbeat. It's like it's not audible. Yeah. Maybe okay. it needs to be returned somewhere? Yes. Uh, Let's take this with us. Maybe there were other uh, carvings that we just missed elsewhere. Is there anything Perhaps. else in this room that we can see that's like... No, that was all. Uh, the BPM is probably about 95, 96 BPM. Slightly faster than a normal heartbeat right now. Mm. Just because you asked uh, parking. There are the stores. Bag. Okay, then make sure you make a note that you have it. Okay. And where you got it from. Because knowing you guys, it could be months before you ever <laughs> think about it again. <laughs> Is it wooden or stone? Uh, it is wooden. It's a wooden carving. Wooden. Yep. It's very well carved. I mean, it's not... It's smooth, but perfectly shaped. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, Bloodbender said that. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I am apparently blood. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's move uh, on, then other way, I guess. I, I just have the sense that this is the thing we need to be tracking. That's all. Okay. Suppose we track it. It doesn't leave any footsteps. I right. think. I guess it's a unique challenge that way. Does it have a smell, Gore? Um, no. Can I like? Um. Ah, uh, well. Uh, uh, sniff it. I would let you sniff it. it. Yes. Okay. Um, oh, it nice. doesn't have a gen. I mean, it doesn't reek or give off a real odor. No, but, but like, but yeah, scent, you you, know? you can give me a um, a perception skill roll. Okay. Just a standard one. Because of your special, no, with advantage because of your special it's special nice. gift. <laughs> okay. I sniff it. Ooh. Sniff it pretty good. Oh, you okay. Sniff yeah. it so good. Give it a good old sniffing. Um, it Burst smells ever so slightly. You can tell that it's made of cedar wood. Oh, nope, cedar. Um, Sorry, I get those two confused. <laughs> But it is incredibly, f very, very faintly smelling of cedar wood, like almost indetectable or, in, you know, un any any normal person would never know that, would never be able to ascertain that. Um, it has probably been, based on that, you think that it was carved a very, very, very long time ago. Um, you can't really put a number on it, but, you know. There is like such such a faint trace of what it actually was that it was obviously done long, long ago. Well, I've I've got the scent. Um, hopefully, I can 
Come across any other cedar wood. Pick it up. Somebody's Some chest of drawers is going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> that armoire is in for it. Um, is it, was it, um, sister, did that seem magical to you? Say, I believe so. Could you maybe track its <laughs> m magical essence? Is that possible? I have not learned such a task yet. I believe I would need much more training. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you should do that. Maybe get more training. You should, <laughs> you know, get taller. Maybe we hey, should. Hey, maybe we now. should check the left. <laughs> maybe we Let's should check the nice. left. Mm. Kind words. Okay. The trip's wandering off into the dark. I'm just saying we should probably <laughs> check the left. Yeah, I'll follow. And Octavius, your slightness is a great advantage. Doom, doom. Doom, yes. Doom, doom, doom. Alrighty. Well, once again, as you start following the path, you find little patches of mushrooms, very small, faint, mossy areas. Um, once you kind of get up ahead, you can see that there's some more of those kind of like natural inclines where it seems sort of like got grown into like natural step formations. Just very cautiously continue up, I guess. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Yep. Slowly heading back upwards. I mean, while you're not really heading uphill, you're going up, you know, you're starting to go up a lot more steps than down, so you kind of get the feeling that you're kind of going back up. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. I feel like this is maybe the wrong way. It's quite amazing. <laughs> well, it's like back to the beginning, right? <laughs> yes. Something like that. Breadcrumbs. I think we were, weren't we just trying to check everything to make sure? I don't, I don't know exactly what our goal is, other than we're here and we have to make things happen. I think it will present it to, our, to us eventually, besides us just fighting things. It must be more than that. This does feel familiar at this mm. point. <laughs> uh, yep, there's a little side passage down south from here, um, and steps kind of natural steps going in that direction, or you can continue along the pathway that you have been wandering already. Oh, I mean, that's this side checked. Um, <laughs> uh, where, where to? Uh, I'm, I'm tired of taking a point, I'm going to be honest. Get a whiff of anything at this? No. And uh, no. make sure you guys have not... I've got the... the um, stream turned off so you're only seeing what your icons can see yeah well that will cause issues because it made so it this is gonna take a whiff <laughs> down the, the three pathways to see if he can smell any well, i mean i don't have a light so one of you have to take lead anyway uh, when you say three pathways which what do you mean uh well we came down this one so right you can't yeah you came here. from um right there no. As yeah, so he came down this way, so there's yeah. one here, one here. Yeah, so he's gonna take a whiff down this one, I guess. See. Okay. Uh, give me a um, a sniff base perception test. <laughs> okay. Oof. Ugh. Um, it, you just kind of smell what you've been smelling in the air. Okay. And if you want to do the same this way, you can. Anything? Yeah. Um, there's a a very faint smell of decay in that direction. Right. Uh, decay coming uh, coming in hot over that way. <laughs> and then is this a corridor here in front of me? This little um spot right here. That. Uh, no, that kind of is like a, just a little alcove, alcove, like a little dead okay. end. Yeah. Gotcha. That's why I said three, because I thought maybe yeah. that was a... Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Now gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I attack the well, darkness. This one smells like death. Straight ahead. Uh, that could... I hate to say it, but that could be good. But it also could mean something down there we don't want to see. Um... If, if we come across another corpse, can we shoot it with an arrow first? 
I think that would be wise, yes. Yeah, well, maybe one of those <laughs> okay, exploding good. ones, Dad. Maybe yeah. one of those big exploding ones. Everyone. Okay, uh, right, so Gemma, as soon as you are now in point, apparently. Um, Peace. <laughs> Why are you, you in point? I was an accident. I was an accident? Was I you? was probably an accident. Yeah, what? You have one yeah. really excellent son, you know, you usually don't need to bother with anything more. You've got the bloodline secured, but oh, Gemma comes along, and now we got this adopted <laughs> kid, and right. okay. I no room for trip anymore. <laughs> Are oh, you good? <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're not. Now you're not in point on point anymore. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would assume... I'm behind those two. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If if me and Octavius would probably. Yeah, it was a uh, trip is in front, and I was kind of like. Yeah. Right behind, buddy, giving buddy. support. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Dad. So yes, um, oh, no. you have found what appears to be another, and now bloated might be the better description. Now, um, another one of those unpleasant corpses. Ooh. Well, we, we know what to Can do, we just right? Just turn around and go a different way. I mean, there's steps up over this way. Can you just Maybe we can just sidestep it? Do like damage to it from here, and we don't have to get close certainly can shoot it, but that's just going to make them all come out. Does anyone have something that will affect the whole area? Uh, I'm, I'm going to pat Gemma on the shoulder. She does. Well, <laughs> she might not be able to anymore. I can't do any of my special things anymore. I mean, I can call the worms names, but... Uh... Well, actually, I could call the worms names. <laughs> it might actually be helpful. Um, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Do you want me to shoot it first? Um, no, because then they'll be out already. If, if we can just localize it, maybe. Um, uh, but you I'm... cannot see any worms right now. Yeah, so mm. you can't actually attack them yet. Uh, Name the worms. Peter. Yeah, I'd have to be able Roger. to see them. Yeah, I'd have to be able to see them. Yeah, Yeah. so I have to take a shot. So I, maybe I can't insult what back. I don't know. Um, yeah. Everybody back? I'm, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. As far as you can. <laughs> Still be able to see, obviously. Okay. I'll, again, kind of be in the front to stand ready. <laughs> this does feel kind of like a dickish thing to do. <laughs> like, it's just a corpse and now we're shooting it. Well, right. What do, what do they care? Right. Right. Here, here goes. All right, so you just want to shoot the corpse? Fine, or something. We could still try to walk past it, but it's fine. In the tummy. Shoot it in the tummy. <laughs> shoot it. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. So you do. You shoot it, and it's right. shot, and it goes boom, and much like last time, in an exploding fashion. But what if I shoot it so good they all just stop? A crap load of these Whoa. nasty things. I'll burst out, kind of <laughs> all over the place. Okay, go, 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 go. Do, do the uh, thing. What's going on here? Hold on. There we go. Oh, no. All right. Uh, yeah, so now there are nasty, horrible grubs all over the floor. Um, and the second they hit the ground, just like last time, very slowly... They begin crawling towards signs of life. Yeah, I'm just going to string off the little bit of Draconic I know. It's all just insults. Um, that way that nobody else has to hear what I'm saying. But Okay. Um, doesn't it specify they have to be able to hear? Um, yeah. It's Grubs a, don't have... within range. If the target need not understand you. Uh, nope, they don't have to understand you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it. And just see, see what it says. Alright. Uh, it's a cantrip, so I might as well try. Hey, it's not gonna hurt you to try, to try it. If I um, can hear you. But they don't have ears, so they um, cannot hear you. So unfortunately... Bugs do sense vibrations in different ways, though. <laughs> they do. 
if we're going to talk about hearing unfortunately, and Unfortunately, vicious mockery doesn't uh, doesn't cover the whole vibration aspect of the spell. So what? Uh, so yeah, so vicious hearing mockery will not work on a bug. Damn. <laughs> or, or on a oh, that's not true. On a grub. <laughs> Do we look up, like, if grubs can here? Cause it... What if the insult is extra salty? Can. Oh, there you go. Get it? <laughs> yeah, we get it. Grubs. No one laughed, here. so I just make sure. I laughed. I giggled. Well. I chuckled. Hear. It didn't come through on the mic. <laughs> oh, well, that's not my fault. I mean, um, insects have ears, but they're not quite insects yet, uh, as such, are they? <laughs> they're a little... Hello, local zoologist. Well, either way, I'm gonna start kiting these with my crossbow, my hand crossbow. Yeah, I'm just, I'm yeah. just backing up. I'm actually, yeah, I'm, no I'm just shooting as we back up fast enough so they don't catch me. Same. Can and I just also plink, shoot? plink. I mean, you can blast arrows crossbow. into these things, but they're, you know. Um... Well, I'm definitely gonna do that and back up. <laughs> You'll be using an awful lot of ammunition. Well, I have three thousand bolts, so we're fine. <laughs> um. Okay, uh, so what you're saying is that wouldn't really work? Uh, I'm not saying it won't work. I'm just saying it will use an awful lot of arrows trying to kill a swarm. Okay. It's, it's kind of fired, like there's so fired. many of them. If you imagine like there's thousands and thousands of them, and if you just fired a bolt into it, how many are you really going to kill? A couple? Halfful? What if we lit the bolts on fire first? And that might work a little more. Um, you destroyed them last time by... F Flaming them to death. <laughs> yes, I know, but I don't think anybody has any more right. flame. Right, so yeah. But that's that's how you pulled it off last time. Do we have torches? Gemma, Gemma can you handle this at all? I, I, I got it. I, let, me, let me do a spell. Okay. What? Okay. Let me oh. do it. Okay. I, I can I can cast prestidigitation and... Oh, and, God. And light oh, a torch. I can, I can do oh, it. Oh, you can do that. Oh, my I gosh. Can we do can that. do this. See, you my have, spells Do you have oh. torches? Uh, I don't. Of course. <laughs> Wait, Gemma, don't get you like get you throw fire. Yes, but I'm just letting you all try to figure it out. Just, uh, <laughs> You're just, cruel. So I'm gonna I take a few more steps back. Gemma's suggestion was to just yeah. walk by, but no. Yeah. Just, I was just, thinking of her. Just upset that so, you did this. We're neutralizing threats, Gemma. So do you want? The what if we ran here because we had to run away <laughs> and these all exploded? Gemma, just throw the flame at them, please. Father's gonna get himself I will into trouble. Throw and I don't... A firebolt into I'm just holding. I'm just holding my hand ready to like yeah, do a magic, so, but I don't know yeah. how. <laughs> it's like a dad trying to show his kid a really dumb magic trick, but he wants to do it so bad. <laughs> so you're saying you don't need it, or? No, please step back, Father. Please. Uh, okay. 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 Great. Thank you. Gemma, well, please. Okay. Alrighty. Towards the middle. All right. Um. All righty. Uh, are we on the right thing here? Nope. Just find my thingy where I had them. I had these already. There it is. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Um, okie dokie. Um, so, yep, uh, you hit them for 12 points of fire damage. And... Let's see... Why do these are they not... flammable? <laughs> Sorry, are, are they flammable? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not inherently. Definitely oh, flammable. I would assume. <laughs> yeah, they're not inherently flammable, but they do burn. I mean, <laughs> canonically, worms hate fire. It's true. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you <laughs> blast a bunch of them, um, and a portion of the swarm will catch fire and the others will kind of like pull away from it and move around it um, but inherently still continue to try 
to move in your general direction. Yeah. Can I just keep hurling fire bolts? Uh, yeah. If that's if, if you're that's, if that's I mean if, if y'all's tactic is basically slowly keep walking away, and you just go fire, 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 um, yeah. you will ultimately kill them all without question. Yeah. Okay. So that is a fine that, that that is a perfectly good strategy and no reason to be rolling millions of dice. So well. <laughs> Jane just wants a twenty. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's fine. How about I roll one more? I then? keep smelling as we do it. <laughs> keep rolling more dice. We'll just keep backing up and shooting. <laughs> Get that twenty. Don't give it to Shaggy. <laughs> I think I've hit him every time though. Yep. Um you eventually incinerate uh, all of them, and there's nothing but horrible, squishy, charred little crispy bugs all over the ground now. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Delicious. Uh, good, good job, uh, Jim. <laughs> Thanks. I just feel like we could have been avoided this whole thing. It's what it is. Uh, how? I just walked by it or chosen a different path. Yeah, but what if we were chased back and inadvertently... Yes, Seth, yes. You won't That's get the achievement saying. for completing the dungeon ah, if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> what if we don't get the achievement if we don't kill everything what down here? I don't understand. <laughs> we're doing we're doing the genocide path. Come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so you, you butcher <laughs> all of the horrible little grubbies. Okay. Kind of walking Wars. over them now. They are just kind of like crunchy instead of squishy. Um, deja vu, Trip. You've been here before. No. Yes, no, to the I left. Have not. To the left is where you started. Oh boy. Okay, you we've really, cleared we've out really quite, quite a bit of this. You <laughs> came from up here. We really would. We need to start marking uh, where we're going here. I mean, I could draw <laughs> up a map. Let's just mark the tunnels so we know. We've been here. Do you, do you, do you remember a, which way you, you went last time? I think we went to the left. Or right. Right from my perspective, because looking down means I'm oriented that way. <laughs> so that would be your left, then? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank you, voice in the sky! <laughs> okay. Can I carve something in I can hear that. Now I'm a paladin. Like the stone wall, the cave wall. Is um, there? can you, so interestingly, no, um, mm. nothing. You like okay. you start scratching, yeah. it does not mark. Like you cannot. It feels like you're carving or trying to carve on something that is entirely too solid. Remember, if, if you remember what I said, it's like it looks like rock, but it's like bizarrely smooth and kind of yeah. strange. Um. You can't really damage this stuff, it seems. Does anyone have their paint, uh, their paint kits on them that I gave them for their <laughs> birthdays some, last year? I have year? some charcoals. Um, I lost I, the paints. I lost the paints, Dad. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I have some. I have some sidewalk chalk. <laughs> okay. Um, you actually have sidewalk chalk, or are you making that joke again? No, I I do have a piece of sidewalk chalk. Oh my god. I was drawing, Which I was drawing pentagrams. <laughs> I was drawing pentagrams on the cobblestone streets of at home, and it, it, was, it, it's it, it left you it were the one doing oh. that to freak yes, out I, all the locals. Yes, I did. Oh, people did complain. I, I, tried I told to so them. many stories about that. I tried we're to going draw little sons. When we're out of here, we're, we're going to have to <laughs> talk about this because it's too funny. <laughs> yes. Um, so I do have a piece in my pocket. If someone okay. would like to borrow it, if you could maybe make a mark but maybe not a pentagram uh, on the no, wall. No, no, it's great. It's great. I, I tell everybody there's witches in Sorrowmorn and if you go into it, the it, woods... But it might, do, <laughs> it might do something if we put that on a magic True wall. True story. Just, <laughs> um, maybe, wh- wh- which way are we going to go? Whatever way we go... So you're saying you've been this way wall. and you know, and you just came from this way and you started this way. Oh, so sad. I don't know what your markings are that you want to put, but... um. Well, let's just try blazing the trail ahead, I think. Okay, but just still make a mark so we know we... Right. Put, yes. So in, indicate where you want to put these marks for me. 
I guess uh, it's kind of a, a big old right X here. on the ground. So the just kind of like on the ground or on the wall? The ground? Wall. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you can like draw on the wall. On. Yeah, with a yeah. little arrow yeah. pointing in like the direction that we're going to kind of mark like we've been that way. Yes. Um, so I'm going to draw like a really like crude cartoony looking devil with its little tongue sticking out and a little winky face with little horns. So it's going to be like that. So I'm just, I just kind of sketch it out really quick. Um, right. And, okay. And then we kind of give a little look. And then I hope the arrow. We don't run out of, um, yes, the arrow. Yes. Oh, I know. Hold on. So you're putting like hold one. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And then <laughs> from the bottom of its head, it's going to be its little, um, oh, its little devil tail, but it's going to wrap around and point. With the little oh, oh okay, <laughs> which way it's which way we're going? Using a lot of chalk, but it's very creative. So you're putting <laughs> one this way, pointing that way, this way, pointing mm -hmm. that way. And... All the one, all the ways that we have been already. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then that would leave you going south. All right. Ba -bum, bum, 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 bum. Of course, oh. Gemma doesn't well, go south. <laughs> I am so confused. There you are. It's hard to see. Bum, 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 bum. It's okay. Okay, you begin kind of to the, wonder. In terms of game rules, we're on the same space. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can be. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You'd be in the same box. <laughs> yep. We're kind of like whispering to Octavius, hey, do you want to freak the family out? Always. Okay. Just stop at the top stair. Okay. And don't move. I give both of you a shove. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> but I could hear you say that, by the way. I'm very yeah. close to you. Well, I, I figure you would be on board with something like that. You know, it's... Uh, considering this is a life and death situation, we shouldn't joke around. Uh, everything's a life and death situation. Joking around is what gets us through it. No, booze gets us through it. <laughs> booze. <laughs> booze gets you through it. It's the same thing for you. Well, let's get to the booze. Yes, my juice box gets me through mine as well. <laughs> my juice box. Give me a juice Don't box. Don't that at all. Well, this is an ugly uh, Brother, are you coming? seem to have lost <laughs> dad oh, no. did we really lose dad no i'm oh, right here oh, there he is. oh okay because i can't <laughs> see right behind, behind you <laughs> hey, imagine going... that i can't see behind me either <laughs> it's so weird, right? <laughs> we're, we're all going to miss him all right yeah so it, it seems to split up in multiple different directions here so i'm just gonna say this is the big death scalies worm boy that we killed this okay, looks like a dead end or something, and mark, this is the way that. ahead. Yes, I, so I start marking the ways we have gone. Okay, so which ways which ways are you marking that you have gone? Uh, you said we went this way, Trip. Yeah, I think that's that over there leads to the corridor where we fought the big death Yeah, we snake went this thing. way. And I don't know how the rules work here if it respawns, oh, and I don't want to oh. risk it. <laughs> All right. So which way are we going? Probably Down. this way, because we haven't gone here. Probably. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, you continue to follow it down, twisty turny mm -hmm. south, going down more steps, and then you start going back up steps. Oh. <laughs> What Are we supposed to be going down? I don't We went down initially. I'm assuming the goal is further down. Yes. <laughs> I don't know this was away. <laughs> the little that's kind of like a circle of mushrooms. Oh, that's true. I'm going to look in the circle of mushrooms. Um, it is just a circle of mushrooms. No. Uh... Hey, Gemma, what happens if we put the deer in this thing? 
want to transfer it to a different circle of mushrooms? I don't know. I, I honestly didn't do enough research for this. <laughs> uh, Normally yeah. I read three books before meeting someone. This is ridiculous. I mean, what, I don't think what's the worst that can happen, Joe? Anything. But I also feel like di- this is not the right way. Right way, wrong Getting a way. feeling of deja vu. <laughs> yes. I think we've gone this way. I feel like we've gone here. Can we go back and get, try to find a way down? Let's go back through the thing that we fought well, earlier well, way. Why don't we make sure this is exactly where we've been before? Yeah, but I don't want to run around in a... Well, we've already run around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it again, though. Oh, We're on stream. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if I were playing at a table, I'd do it again. Um, <laughs> this okay. is the actual way out. I'll be so annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if, if you guys think you've been that way, maybe you have. Can I roll an intelligence check to uh, see if I've gone this way? It's been know. a couple of weeks. <laughs> um... <laughs> I will go as far as to say there are certainly aspects of some of these twists and turns that do have a slight familiarity about them. <laughs> okay, that's enough for me. If you're really paying that much attention at this point, yeah. <laughs> Follow the light. Where? It's this way. <laughs> it's so hard to navigate in here. I know. Uh, if you let the light get too far ahead and it goes around a corner, where's, it's where's like, where are we going? Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love dynamic lighting. It forces everybody to move their tokens. Oh, God. <laughs> they can't get lazy and just not. <laughs> you know. Boo. And now you're back here. Okay. Hey, let's just try through here and see if there's another okay, passage. Mark this, missed. please. We did. Yep, I, I and we're going to point yep. to the place it's marked. So you're going to mark it here as well this time. Right. Yeah. So it's marked here and here now. Okay. Uh, wait. What's that? Oh, it's like a half circle. Not quite a circle. Very good. Uh, or you know how your shapes. Long, how many hours have we been down here? Roughly. Um... That you think you've been down here? What sure. it feels like? Sure. Probably an hour. Mm. I, have a like very, an hour. I have a very funny feature that's totally not applicable to this. But when, <laughs> when we hit the eight hour mark and we're still lost, can I? I'll bring it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when we hit the eight hour mark and we're still and lost. And if we're still lost. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if we're still going in circles. <laughs> I have a feature that from the pugilist that could work here. It's kind of sure there's nothing over this way. Uh, best not to divide. Um, Octavius. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Douglas. Uh, oh, there we are. Okay. It'd be so funny. I, I just really don't want to. Sp- okay, that's so you're just scary. checking every nook and cranny at this point. <laughs> Well, it's hard to tell if they're nooks or crannies. Well, it is. That's oh, exactly is. the point. Until you go around the corner. <laughs> okay, we got some stairs. <laughs> they up or down, Gore? Um, these ones are going up. Uh, we haven't gone this way yet, have we? Right, so we can check it out. Uh, could we mark the floor here so that we know if we ever end up back here that we're here? Yes. Can I do that? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Oh no. What? Um, bum, bum, uh, bum, bum, bum. It's all kinds of nothing. I'm gonna keep on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't scare us. There's like so that. much nothing. It's dangerous. The well, last time Seth pushed me, so I have to, you know, ad lib. <laughs> Is it empty? I can't. Oh, maybe it keeps going that way. This is a post. Okay. Uh... <laughs> There's a big stack might in the middle. <laughs> okay. Yep. You continue to follow the strange corridors around. Up ahead, though, it does start to go down again. 
Gemma goes back down. Right into the abyss we go. <laughs> into the thick of it. <laughs> uh, Gemma. G- Gemma. Dun, 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 dun. Is the heart beating slower or faster? Like maybe oh. it's scared, so it'll Let beat me faster. See. I'm gonna pull it out and listen okay. to it. Uh, it's about the same. Nothing. <laughs> oh well, I mean not nothing. It's still beating, but well, yeah, that, that's still creepy. In <laughs> <of itself. laughs> it's still. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Got a split. Yes, you do. You have a left and a right split, or a east and a southern split. It looks like it goes I, down I this do way. Do another sniff. Uh, okay. You can have a sniff if you wish. Sniff to wish. Okay, which you sniffing this way? I didn't see where you marked. Uh, yeah, yeah, that way. Okay. Fishing yeah, use those. Way. Use those doggy noses. Use your doggy nose. Better. Okay. Um. So there is a familiar kind of acridy smell that way um it smells very much like the room that you were when you were battling that remoraz smells like that Mm. smells like one of those creatures down there skip let's skip hey you want to listen to me this time even if that is the right way we're not going that way (laughs) can i I smell the other one too Uh, sure yeah with the same roll or do i need to do it every time uh no uh different roll because you're kind of like going over and okay. taking Part a big old snoz. Um, big old snoz with. Um, snoz with. Big snoz with. Um, okay, yeah, let's see. Um. Uh, you can smell a faint whiff of soot, like soot or charcoal, and it also smells like damp soot or charcoal. I haven't smelt that here before. New smell, new smell alert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like the smell, <laughs> damp charcoal. It smells you reminds you of a hunt? campfire on a rainy night. Yes, when did uh, you learn to hunt with your nose? I'm just curious because when you took me out on my trip, it was nearly entirely visual. This is this is kind of a new thing for me. Um, <laughs> I mean, my sure. brother's been sniffing all things in our in Barovia, you know. What is that supposed to mean, Seth? Please clarify before I vomit. Please clarify that. <laughs> it has nothing to do with elves, that's for sure. No, uh. <laughs> You're right, it does not. Thank you. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, he's been doing weird things. Like, I just with his nose. I can do this now. That's all I can say. I yeah, that's it. weird. It, that's not okay. normal, brother. But, and I'm going to go up to him and pat him on the shoulder. Very useful. And appreciated. Everybody can do weird stuff. Why? Why can't I? Have I don't do weird, weird thing things. Too? Well, I don't know, Seth. Hey, all the magic you users' are a weird spells thing. have all gone kind of weird and screwy as well. So yeah, I I think maybe we try this way. Okay. I don't know what it means, but sure. Yeah, smells, let's do it. it. Smells better. It smells less remorazy. Uh, uh, <laughs> I feel safer when you're up here. <laughs> Dun 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 Okay. He's not coming. Um <laughs> yeah, Oct- <definitely>. Octavius, uh <laughs> dis- destroyer. Um <clears throat> Destroyer yeah. of Worlds. <laughs> I need I, I I just don't feel secure without you here. You are very dense. It's like standing on a stone. <laughs> I'm always here, and let me be clear. Let me be perfectly clear even if i am not and something happens i am right next to you at all times <laughs> just throwing that out there, see there. <laughs> just for later for for canon and for possible future <laughs> 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 
Until he rolls a one or a two, right? We've done Correct. it this time. <laughs> oh, not a dead end. <laughs> Got lost now. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Actually, wow. seeing it open up like, like this, this, I, I will slow down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Happier spending your time with us here on a Monday evening? <laughs> <laughs> what kind All of right. beers are you drinking? I've got this two dirty big bastards. Big opening here. <laughs> I have a tomato cocktail. Ooh. Mm. I have good, coffee. Actually. I have wine. Uh, wine. I have wine. All right. I so, um, hey. Hey. up ahead, it <laughs> does Jelly indeed guy. seem Easy. to be opening up ahead of you. <laughs> like it seems to widen <laughs> for sure. Um, hey, hey, Dad. Whoa. Oh, uh, yes. This is a big cavern. Can you come up here real quick? Uh huh. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, how many arrows do you have on hand? Enough? Uh, of course. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, dispelling the light on myself, put it on one of his <laughs> arrows, and be like, can you just shoot that? Into uh, what the... are you, say that again, what are you putting on it? Uh, light spell. Okay, on the arrow? Yep. Okay. And just... And then I'll just kind of shoot it, shoot it, up and out. This is a big room and I can't see into it. Straight ahead. I would rather not be seen, yes. Like there? I mean, as far as it'll go, honestly. I don't oh. know where it'll hit. Is, is he just wanting um, Douglas to kind of fire an arrow straight yeah, down the corridor arrow. to see how far it goes? Is that the point? Yeah, yeah with my light spell. Also to illuminate the room instead of us. Okay, uh, pop, pop the light spell for me real quick. Okay, okay. Trip. Yep. Which is cool and new to but, me. Well, don't you have a light cantrip on you, something already? Yes, I was dispelling that to do that. That, that was the reason I was asking the question, yep, yep, yes. Yep, yep, yep. So whenever you recast it on this, whatever you currently have is going to go out. Yep, and it goes out every hour anyway. Yeah, which is so. about in an hour, so. Yep. Okay. Um, so you're going to fire it. In that case, let me do a thing then. No, no, um, not a thing. <laughs> directly down from there. Uh, oh, damn. Why do I have two things now? Yeah, I was confused about the two things too. But oh, I've been told it's healthy and natural. <laughs> Okay. All right. So basically, that's where the arrow is. So you can kind of see the illumination. Illumination! <laughs> um, that's basically where the arrow struck the wall, and the arrow is now laying on the ground. Wow. So. Move forward a little bit so we can look to the left and right. It's like a campfire or something. That's the arrow. No, no, it's over here. Oh, okay. And the big ass cave. Great. Wait, there's a big ass cave. What? Okay, that that so um, now here is what you're seeing. Yeah. So let me give you kind of like the um, descriptione. So. Yeah, you've kind of wandered into this huge open cavern. Um, on one side of this cave remains an old ring of stone, of which a uh, very large kind of long-since-used campfire is sitting. The other side, it kind of slopes like a, a fairly steep angle to where... It's only about two to three feet high. And in the base of that, below there, appears to be a large hole going down. So if you kind of look at this area here, um, so all across here, this area here is only like two or three feet. And this is just a huge big pit or hole going straight down. Um, as I say, the campfire is a little campfire over there. But that, other than that, that is all that is in this large, huge chamber. I'd like to 
to go check out the campfire first. Okay. Um, do you wish to retrieve that arrow trip? Um, it's you... kind of nice having it light up the room, so I'm going to leave it. Well, I'm going to shrink the icon to make it less ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I'd like to check the fireplace for signs of you recent use. Okay. Um, where's Douglas? <laughs> He's back there. Oh, okay. Rear guard. Um, okay, it is... The black sooty charcoal is very, very thin in the base of it. Um, it's not really your forte, but clearly this hasn't been used in a very long time. I mean, anybody could see that. Well, if there's nothing terrifying in that hole, maybe we could just chill here, you know? <laughs> what, what if we're supposed to go into the hole? Perhaps the challenge is just waiting for it to end. Forever. Famous challenge. Just waiting for it. The waiting challenge. <laughs> Game of patience. Well, what if we light the fire and maybe it's a trap for something in there? I do like that idea. Do you want to go look in the hole first at all, or just... Um, hold on. I'm going to very to carefully across the wall, go around... Okay. <laughs> ...and <laughs> retrieve the arrow, not going in front of the cave. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and circle back with my arrow. <laughs> okay. To Dad. Do you want to shoot the cave, maybe? Sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm not sure. You know. Sure. I'll, I'll get in position, I guess. Is it over here? Where is it? Like right. Is it here? No, no. It's it's this big hole over here. <laughs> oh right. Oh right. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that side of the ca that side of the cavern is where it kind of like goes down real, real steep to where it's only about two to three foot high, and then in the base of that is a sheer drop. Okay, I'll shoot another one into that, I guess. Okay, um, it'll hit the wall and disappear down the hole, and then nothing. It's gone. Oh, well, now it's dark. <laughs> well, so you should try lighting the fire. Well, until you, yes, yeah, I mean, you obviously can cancel cancel it and recast it on whatever you had before. Try yeah. the arrow. We, we saw the light from the arrow that hit the wall and go down the hole, go fly down, right? Or well, I mean, it hit the wall and then fell down the hole. I mean, but there we was saw no... the light from above dissipating as it fell. Yeah, but I mean, it was gone very quickly. Hmm. And there's still no light. There's no light shining up out of the hole. Which means, clearly, it is deeper than like 40, 50, 60 feet. Yeah. So it's a big hole. I really don't want to go look in the giant spooky hole in alternate universe death trap. <laughs> But, I'm but just what, putting that out there. Uh, agree, but what if that is actually the way forward? Is you know. To jump into it. I mean, when we went in the hole of the tree, you guys just vanished, right? Yes. Like, you didn't dig into a tunnel. You zipped out of existence. And then I, then, you know, we did in turn. Right. It was very scary. So what if that is another one of those could be, but I still would like to test out lighting this fire first. Well, yeah, let's do that first. That's a good idea. Okay. Uh, well, you have a nice little ring of stones and a black sooty base. What do you want to light? What What's the fire going to be? What fuel do you have for your fire? Burn the effigy. <laughs> no. That's made of wood. Yeah. What, what could go wrong? Let's burn the, the you know. Gee. 
burn the stag. <laughs> burn the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hear bad things about burning effigies. Um, Those are effigies with like heartbeats. <laughs> Giant, um, giant men I... with green glowing parts of in the center. I mean, I could burn a bedroll, something. Random books I collected. I don't need anymore. Book of Strahd. <laughs> <laughs> I I have a deflated leather ball. Don't ask me why, but I do. <laughs> a it deflated like leather ball. From the kid in I legitimately have a deflated leather ball in my uh, inventory. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna take out three black leather leather books that I collected that are no use to me. Okay. Were those ones you got from the Durst Manor? Does it say where you got them? Um, no, it was way before that. I think it was from the very first house. Oh, the Death House. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Durst Manor. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they'll burn. Them up. Okay, so you make yourself a little campfire of burning books. It will burn very nicely for a very short period of time. <laughs> um, but, strangely enough, the second you throw the books in, um, how are you lighting them? And I, well, describe, describe to me specifically how you're making the fire and how you're doing it, because it could be relevant. Okay, uh, I start ripping out pages. Okay. Balling up the pages and getting a bunch in there to a nice big pile. Okay. Then I'll use prestidigitation to light it. Okay. Oh, so, um, so the second you do so, <laughs> sorry, Dad, um, do you okay. set fire to it and um, up it goes and they start to burn and burn and burn and burn. And they don't seem to actually be like being oh. consumed. Ooh. Like the flame just not, just seems to be there. Like it's ever burning for campfire or some weirdness. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody book burner. Is it giving <laughs> off heat? Um, a f reasonable amount of heat. Yeah. Right. Much of, I mean, the sort of heat you'd expect to get from a campfire. Nice, nice fire. Good job. I didn't expect this. It should be gone by now. So this I, is magical. I taught you well. <laughs> Great camp. Here's your, here's your campfire badge. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, sweetheart. Uh, um, yeah, so you have yourself a nice little campfire now. It's like a part of the... I mean, she's a huntress, so the whole thing with hunting is getting out to a site and camping out, right? Right. Perhaps we can rest for a short out. while, since we lit this fire anyway. Yes, I agree. I rest. We should take the opportunity when we can. Alrighty. Um, so is everybody just going to, like, Chill. rest up, or is somebody going to post up a watch, or what's the game plan? And are we just short resting, or are we, like, going to go ahead and take a full eight hours and try to recuperate some stuff. I mean, I'm out of spells and we did get in a pretty big fight. I don't remember how <laughs> spells do we, we did. Do we today. trust sleeping next to this giant scary hole? <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know about that. Something definitely lives in I, I feel like I trust the hole more than I trust the corpses. <laughs> I'll I'll stay and watch because you know I can just sit here. You guys try to rest as much as you can. Okay. It's a quick one. Yeah, I'll try to get some rest for sure. Okay. So basically, it's everybody resting, and Seth is just staying up all night and not gonna get and not gonna rest. I'll probably wake up Douglas. Yeah, we'll take a shift halfway through. Okay. 
Let the kitties rest. Mm-hmm. Let the finger wagglers get their energies back. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Um. Well, <laughs> you. Um. So yeah, who who all is asleep then initially? Everybody except Seth. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Then let's talk about dreams, shall we? Ooh. Um. So while you are asleep. You're a, you sort of feel yourself drift up out of your body to where now you're floating above the campsite looking down and you can see everybody fast asleep in slumber except Seth who's whatever Seth is doing when everybody Scratching else is ass. asleep. Let's go. <laughs> picking his nose. Scratching my ass and picking my nose. Um, yeah, so um, you're kind of watching all of that. But as you're drifting up, you're kind of aware that there are things up in the ceiling because the ceiling here in this area is pretty tall and there's bits of kind of like twine or are they twine or are they little thin roots it's hard to tell but there's strange little charms and effigies hanging off the bottoms of all of them there's hundreds and hundreds of them just like dangling down like little teeny tiny entrails with little strange objects at the bottom um in your dream state as you try to look at the little objects, all you see is little glowing orbs of light. But you know that there's something inside that orb. There's something different. But for some reason, your dream self cannot see it. Um, however, you keep getting this strange feeling that you're also being watched. Being watched by something that you can't see in the chamber. Being watched by something that is non-visible to your dreaming selves but being watched by some form of thing or entity that is able to see everything that you're seeing and more um and that's kind of a continuation of a dream that'll just kind of dream on repeat on repeat on repeat um douglas you're gonna get woken up obviously by uncle seth um, and once you're woken up actually even though you only got a few hours rest you actually do feel remarkably refreshed um, you do have the benefit of a full rest so fully uh, fully healed and all your abilities and everything are back um, but it was definitely a strange and bizarre dream um while everyone was sleeping, I obviously would look around. If I looked up, what would I see? Darkness. I mean, just just the darkness. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Little strange flo- glowing grandchildren, uh, glowing ne- nieces and nephews go. That's kind of what I was banking on, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, you can't see them. <laughs> All right. So I'd wake I'd wake Douglas up and be like, uh, nothing. <laughs> Have fun. And then I'd lay down myself. Okay. Try to rest. All right. Um, well, then it, you will fall to sleep very, very quickly, and you will begin to have the same dream. Um, okay, Doug. Um, yeah. So you're woken up from the odd dream, and now you're just sitting there and... Thoughts. Okay. Um, but if you're not going to do anything else... Um, what would you recommend I do? <laughs> I'm just asking. Because um, if you're not, I'm going to basically say that time passes and uh, slowly but surely, everybody will starts to rise from their slumber feeling like they've just had a fantastic night's sleep. Even though they're fully aware of a very weird and strange dream that they all had. Um, in the dream, you were all very aware of everybody else that was floating around you as well. You couldn't communicate, but you could see them. Oh. Ah. Weird dream. Not important. You had a strange dream as well. Do we all know that, like, we all had the same dream, Gore? Um, initially, no, but considering you've had strange dreams here in the past that have turned out to everybody's had them um i wouldn't think that it's too unlikely that seeing that you could see 
the spiritual versions of your gotcha. a, a sleeping family that you might be able to put two and two together and think okay. that it's quite possible. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Did we see like each other? Yeah, you did. You just couldn't like, yeah. communicate. But, okay, okay. Yeah. But yes. Yes, what what was that? Do we oh, have any you idea? had the same dream? Yeah, I figured. Um, Maybe we'd well. have to climb up there to see what it was. Can we shine a light? Do you want to uh, send a flaming arrow that way to see if it's actually here too? You mean there's better ways than flaming arrows? Oh, can you do that way? Yeah. <laughs> and everybody is considered <laughs> to have had a full, uh, complete rest. Uses of inspiration. Okay. Um, I mean, I can light a thing if we can send it up there, but it's really just getting up there is the issue. You suggested an arrow. What does that Do sound? What sound? Uh, sound like <laughs> uh, it's more just the weird echoes that are kind of like bouncing <laughs> off the wall. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, like, I don't hear that. <laughs> okay, what's um, up? <laughs> I guess it's just the uh, sound for the thing. Yeah, it's the it, weird, it like yeah, it's just the weird sounds of the strange mystical caves. Um, yeah, I, I guess we could do another arrow if you're okay with that. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of the way in case it doesn't stick. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah, it's pretty unlikely. Unless there's something different about the roof of the cave, it's not likely to stick. It's going to hit the roof and fall back down. Okay. Okay. Just watch your heads. Okay. I mean, I could also just toss something up there. Are there any rocks or anything? Uh, there's a big pile of them, big circle of them. Oh, yeah. All around the campfire. <laughs> I'm the littlest Which guy. is still burning, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where's the littlest guy? Okay, so you're going to find a small pebble. Mm -hmm. You just kind of... Cast light on it and flick yeah. it up. Yeah. See uh, okay, it yeah, it'll float up into the air as you throw it. And sure enough, you will see lots of little bits of string. Or vines. Or teeny tiny roots. Or whatever they are. And at the bottom of each one of them is some small object. Um, but there's dozens and dozens of them up there. Hmm. Well, I have a solution for this. Uh, before you do it, please explain what it is in case it's a <laughs> terrible idea. Well, it's a handy little spell I read in a book. Watch this. Okay, no, but th that's exactly the opposite of what <laughs> I was saying. This. Watch this. Watch <laughs> I just hold my hand up. Look what I can do! <laughs> a ghost copy of my hand comes out. Mage hand. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's actually excellent. Okay. Ooh. See, I'm not going to do anything crazy. I you look up to Kiliana, and you know what they say. I do, but I, she's a fire mage. And girly. I'm, well, <laughs> I'm giving Flagoration! <laughs> she's a flaming girl. <laughs> the fire girl. I mean, she's you're... in her fire era, and me, <laughs> mystical era. She's on the, her era's tour, and she's in the fire era right now. I, I, I... I do, I do I do miss her mage hand era. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll, I suppose I'll. I'm going to cast this. Just oh, okay. Well, description. Description. Okay, and I will. Uh, oh, how high is it? Um, it's not over. It's it's not much past. You, it, it, oh. It'll get to the bottom okay. of the 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 dangly bits. Okay. Might not reach the ceiling, but it will reach the bottom of the little. Grab anything. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Anything. Retrieve an item from an open container or pull the container, and can't activate magical or carry more than ten pounds. Okay. Um. These aren't very, I mean, these things are very, very light, and what's holding them up is very, very thin. So I would say 10 pounds, you can probably snap one off and mage hand it down. Okay. Um, you do so. So what it looks like when you pull it down from up in the chamber um, is 
the the particular one that you've pulled down is like a little bit of bone with little markings, strange carvings on the bone. The bone is probably about the size, about that long, and probably about finger size, but a little smaller. Uh, is this a new finger for me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look. Um. Yep. But there are strange carvings and markings on it. Um, you've seen similar markings before, but you didn't know what they were. Um, and where you saw them was up at the top, round that druid oh, circle. Right. I'd like to ask the mage hand to get another one to see how different okay. these things are. From uh, this time it pulls down what appears to be a kind of a black feather. Um, and the tip of the feather has been like dipped in wax. Like a red wax. Hmm. Uh, objects. That doesn't seem related. How many more should I pull down? Let's do two more just to see okay. a good variety. Um, the next one you pull down uh, appears to be a human tooth. Um, the one after that, a small piece of wood with matching carvings on both sides, about the size of a little chip, these, maybe an inch by seem an inch like by an offerings, inch. almost. Right, tokens of some kind. I don't think we should take many more of these down. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Should should we burn them? Um, uh, probably no. not. That seems like the worst possible thing you can do to a magically charged totem or offering. I think. I mean, if we're trying to free something, we should do something that it's not, we would think is not a good idea, no? But if we threw it in the hole? Uh, do they seem <laughs> older than, like, they got, what? How old do these look? Like, how, how rotted out is the wood? Like, how dry is it? Um, it's, it's still very much intact, but a lot of that's probably because of the, the lack of... The stagnance of the environment. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, they haven't been exposed to weather and stuff like that, but I mean, they're clearly old. The wood is incredibly light. Um, the feather is kind of a little brittle. Hmm. Little brittle. Little brittle. <laughs> um, like looking at the carvings on the. Is there like a. I guess a sense of culture of origin that that might. Um, they look the same as. If you remember that, that big stone up, t up top hmm. that they had the carvings marked and everybody looked at them but nobody really knew what they were. Everybody kind of figured out there was some kind of runic language but no one knew what they said. It's the same type of markings. So like the ancient druidic stuff. Something like that, yep. Before, this would be then... Most likely, I think, these charms are from pre-corruption times. These are vulnerant and good things. Um, they don't... Frankly, they don't reek of strad magic. <laughs> <laughs> They're very non strady they, they look like old druid work to me. So I think they're more in reverence than anything. Place them down nicely on the floor then. And okay. Say, well, I think it's time to look into the hole. I think you're right. <laughs> I mean, if we have rope, we could lower someone. <laughs> um, could have rope. Who do you think? <laughs> you? <laughs> well, that doesn't make much sense. Yeah, you're not, exa he's not exactly. not exactly slight. Octavius is like picking up stones and just kind of throwing them against the wall, not really paying attention. <laughs> to what I'm, about. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go to like, and I'm gonna gesture at Octavius. I'm gonna send my children in there. All right. Well, you're no. Okay. Go. 
we're not going to do this again, Douglas. <laughs> we're okay with him going into danger everywhere, but not this. No, because of course not. I'm, just, I'm just walking Give up me to the a perception skill roll, please. Oh, damn it. I was... I'm just peering in. <laughs> yeah. I follow you. I mean, at yeah. that point, to go any closer, you've got to kind of like get down on your hands and knees and crawl in there. Come on, expertise. Oh. Actually do something. Ah. Oh. The worst I could So weird oh. how that rolls. 14 okay um actually that's enough to notice that so as i said as you start going towards that end of the cavern it starts to slope downwards pretty steep as you're walking towards it so you can kind of see the slope is in front of you there's carvings like pictorial carvings on it like a like a huge mural hmm um, you didn't notice it before because everybody was so busy staying away from that side of the cave. But now you're getting closer to it um, with your, you know, with the illumination of light. You can see this pictorial mural. Um, what you can see is numerous carvings, um, each one kind of depicting a scene or. Um, a representation of an act or a time all of them seem to include what looks like some kind of stick figure wearing an antler headdress um, if you knew really what you were looking at and had the expertise you might be able to kind of like put it together almost like a Egyptian hieroglyphics but not um, Anybody have anything that might help with them? Yes. I I say, can we spare ten minutes here? Oh, we already uh, rested eight hours. I mean. <laughs> What's ten more minutes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will know. prepare a ritual so that I may understand and comprehend. Okay, languages. so comprehend languages? Yes. Okay. Um... Let's see. All right, so as you start kind of like looking at them, um, what it looks like is in the easiest ways to kind of like depict, because again, these aren't like actual words so much as just little scenes. So in the first one, um, it looks like a bowl with a seed in it. Um, and then it seems to kind of like get bigger and bigger and bigger over time, right? And, and it begins to sprout. Um, but more later, you realize that the bowl is not actually a bowl. It's a representation of the earth or a place. Then you start to realize that what this representation is, it's showing that the Golthias tree looks like it was there before the place was like the place grew from around or grew around the tree um then you can see what appears to be a figure stepping out of the tree um it is the stick figure with the weird antlers um and then you can see all kinds of other little stick figures coming and bowing down to it and making offerings to it um <clears throat> the other thing that you can see is at the bottom of every one it all kinds comes down and joins a line that line kind of cuts directly across uh, let me do this like so the line points across the ceiling or at the angle going all the way from the the kind of center of one side all the way down to the center of the other side and then all of the individual um little pictures are like lined up one after the other one after the other one after the other but at some point off the off of the bottom of each of the pictures it joins up with that singular line um <clears throat> your best the, kind of looking at it your comprehension that you can get from this is the Golthias tree is probably older than anything in Barovia 
and the tree existed before the forest thane did the forest thane come out of the tree at some point and everybody started revering the forest thane um and worshiping the forest thane and then in another indication you can see that there were three um there were some like little circles and you could see three individuals one was the one with the stag horned you know little stick figure with the stag horns and then there were two others but all three of those seem to be revered but in each image you can see each one of them standing in the center of a stone ring but the people were worshipping all three, but each one was in its own stone ring. Um, so that's kind of what you're able to kind of ascertain from looking at all that stuff. Um, beyond that, as I said, there's a low, low tunnel about two to three feet that slopes gently downwards. Um, and as you follow that line that I told you pointed, at the very end of it, there is one single set of runes um, which you can actually read and it says and they shall be made to crawl on their bellies into the realm of the gone I'm going to read that out loud okay Yes, so, and they shall be made to crawl on their bellies into the realm of the gone. G O N E? Yep. Gone? Okay. Uh huh. Ooh. So, does that mean we have to crawl on our bellies to, through here? Uh, let's put it this way everybody except you. By the time you get to the narrowest point, we'll almost be on your belly. You could still probably be at a very low kind of... You could still probably be on your hands and knees. Okay. Um, but the uh, the two Mildwood boys, <laughs> the, 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 you know, the earlier generation of Mildwood boys are definitely be scooching along on their bellies because it's that narrow and tight down there before it disappears down the hole. So do we, uh, do we go? I think we should. Supposed <coughs> to not be fearful in a test of our fortitude, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my short hands on Octavius' shoulder for just a second. Okay. He's like, hold, hold on. Uh, and I'm gonna give him a, a, a quick little kiss on the forehead. <laughs> There you go, son. <laughs> I'm gonna give him uh, protection from evil. Okay. What, what was that? Like the kiss of death? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a kiss of protection. When it's a daddy's kiss, it's kind of like mama's. No, no, look at Octavius. You'd be like, <laughs> it's the kiss of death. It's really cool. Oh, okay. Great. Love that. <laughs> I love death in all of its forms. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cast dark vision. There it is for Chad on... if they need it, but. Do. Seth as well. Okay, you're going to cast Dark Vision on Seth? What's the duration on that? Eight hours. Awesome. Okay, so Seth can see in the dark for eight hours. Now, me and, him, uh, whoa, whoa, me whoa. and him both have Dark Vision now. Awesome. I feel like you might need this. But, uh, Pretty cool. This is weird. Uh, <laughs> thanks? Is this your way of telling me that I gotta go first? I feel that that's what you're getting at. Well, you can, but mostly I just... You're you're not one that usually has a light, so... In case we're separated. That's, that's very nice of you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. So, so are we belly scooching? <laughs> I think we're belly scooching. Yes, I think we are. Okay. Sh should, um... The first one have a rope tied around them? If you'd um, like, I'm, I'm just going to get going rope. here. I'm frankly, uh, I don't <laughs> like much. hanging out in places with giant... I mean, it, when you get right to the edge, it is a sheer drop down. Oh. 
like it slope the ceiling slopes down to the hole but once you get to the hole it's a sheer drop if I shine my light we down, throw a light see... down there yeah <laughs> well we already did it just vanishes right? uh, the, uh, the arrow disappeared looking, the arrow vanished yeah okay um light. yeah it's it's deeper than your light will will tra traverse that's for sure well, the hole is deeper than 60 feet and uh, if I were to like reach in and feel the cave wall there is it smooth or um again it looks at first glance to be kind of rough but as soon as you touch it it's just like the rest of the cave it's all beautifully smooth Oof. which would make climbing like incredibly <laughs> hard Yeah, you should probably tie me up. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> uh, who's got rope? Pretty sure we it took like a regular kit. So you've got 50 foot of rope? Yeah, I know I have an adventurer's kit, so I have some. Yeah, okay. I have rope. All right, so at least two of you have got 50 feet rope. Okay. Yep. We could turn that into 100 feet of rope if we do a really good knot. Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let me have it. Okay. Good ranger knot. <laughs> yep. Okay. Wait, this is 5e. Rope's just tied in 5e. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, the dumbest way to die in any other edition is a bad knot. Yep. Well, no, we assume if you have anything, any kind of savvy, you can tie a knot. Um, Alright, so you've got a. Are you tying it around your waist, or what's the game plan? Yeah, probably a loop. Okay. Loop I, the waist. I, I will. I will hold the end of the rope. Obviously, using my leather as a you know, so I don't get rope burn on yeah, my hands. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'll look at Trip and be like, "I got you." Uh, are you going to kind of like abseil down the side of the wall, or are you going to let it or just kind of like be dangled down the? No, I'll probably do the. I'll, I'll belay on. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll, so you I'll start kicking out. Um, it's not long before you are in nothing but blackness um by the time you're nearly probably the whole 80, way down i'm just praying 80 I'm or like... 90 feet down um <laughs> seth is realizing there's not a lot of rope left to give and you still are not seeing the bottom do we have any more rope uh yes i don't know who gave the first one but i know we had a second one too well you have you've used two Oh, oh, I got you. I got so you've you. got you've got a uh, hundred feet tied so far. Um, anybody else got any more? I don't. I'm just gonna like with a the hatchet, just chop a button off of my shirt and just <laughs> drop it from here with the okay. white spell on it to see if I do. Um, uh, you will see eventually it go down, and then the light will expand out, and then you'll hear it go bloop. As it hits liquid. Ah. And then the light ah. spell kind of like goes. Oh. There's water at the bottom. Ah, uh, do we. <laughs> oh um, okay, so. And here's it what did I open up, so it looks like you're actually would be, from what you can tell, you're going down into another cave. So it's not just immediately water, like there's an opening down there and water is at the bottom of that opening. Gemma, I'm telling you because there are important instructions. <laughs> what? I'm going to use the horn to signal. I'm going to pull it out ahead of time knowing that I need to hold it above water as soon as possible. Okay. Um, when I get to the bottom, I'm going to see if there's a problem. If there's a problem, I'll toot tooty toot really fast. Um, that'll mean everybody just jump in, the water's deep enough, and I need help. <laughs> uh, if you okay. hear one long blaring thing, it's not serious, just, you know, jump down. If you hear one single short blast, followed okay. by maybe another one in case you didn't hear me, that means, um, it's not deep enough and I'm severely hurt and this was all a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Understood. 
a toot de doot means that we need to jump down immediately because it's deep enough and you're in danger. A toot means that it's oh crap. just jump down, it's fine. <laughs> one little one little one, one little, little toot, toot fart. Means toot fart danger, means danger, bad. danger. Just don't do it. Toot and if you fart. don't hear anything, I'm don't dead. <laughs> yes. Confused. What if you break your horn? I won't break my horn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Luck. Just don't land it's on It's magical. It. It's fine, fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower trip as much as I'm allowed with the rope I have. So uh, I mean, yeah, you got about 95 feet of lowering, taking up with what you're holding, what, what's wrapped around it. What's wrapped around him? Yeah. Okay. And I'm then... gonna count to three, but let me go on two. One. <laughs> wait, two. Let, wait, you want me to let go three. of the rope? Well, forget. I'm just trying to get a good breath. <laughs> you want me to let go rope. of the rope? Why don't you just you, untangle yourself? You just yourself? slip out. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> Cut the rope. That sucks. Oh, God. Why would I let go of a hundred feet? Well, I'm, holding, I'm holding a horn, and I'm kind of bracing my sword, and there's a knot that Dad tied. You know how Dad ties knots. Okay, just don't have the sword pointed at you so it falls. You fall That's on why it. I'm holding it, and it's oh. scabbard. <laughs> <laughs> Everything yeah. else is battened down minus the button I lost. I mean, yeah, un so untying much. a knot that you're like has weight on yeah, it. Yeah, it's I mean, the, yeah. the knot <laughs> is an untying. You're gonna have to cut it, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's easier if you just let go. I really don't want to. We can't save you. If okay, you no. Go. Listen. So I, I, I marked a little thing with light. Dropped it. The light is gone. This is pretty deep. I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> I just don't want the horn to, you know, I gotta get up to the surface, take a deep breath, and tootie doot doot. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Jesus. Now I gotta remember what it was. Tootie doot doot is, is okay. No, that means you're fast. in danger, but you want us <laughs> yeah. to jump yes, in. Yes, 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 because, you know, um, and, then, and then one, one long toot. toot is what I'm looking for. Tootie okay. doot doot, Will Robinson. That's like the best case scenario, I just go boo and I think of, yeah, okay. boo that's good. <laughs> the Horn of Gondor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want, Let's go! Yeah, I want all of Rohan to hear my horn when I blow it. <laughs> I'm going to look at the rest of the family and be like, do I actually let go? I'm just like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to hold on I'm to the end it. of the rope on my side. Make him cut himself. All we hear is silence. Are you alive? <laughs> oh my god, he's dead. <laughs> Doody -doo -doo -doo. Oh <laughs> I'm gonna cut it. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and line myself up so I can just draw and like uh, jag the sword back in the teeth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so um, I don't have to like. Yep. Well, you know how a rope, how a thick rope will cut with weight on it. It'll go. Start to cut, and then it'll start to fray. Um, and then you realize it's about... I'm seeing that, I'll stop and start taking my deeper... Like, my breath practices are coming in. And then maybe you can kind of... You can kind of, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like this. Okay, oh, all of a sudden, you'll feel rocking. the rope... Yeah, all of a sudden, like, the rope's doing this, and then it goes... and becomes remarkably light. And <laughs> okay. you basically fall... Down, down, down... Into water. Um, the water is not that cold. Um, it is very black and very dark. Um, and um, but once you kind of get in there and stop sinking, you're able to kind of start swimming back up. And be so scary. What direction is it? Um, and you emerge at the top. Um, but you cannot see a thing. First thing I'm doing is I'm holding the horn in my hand, right? Um, yep, gonna... so the horn is held up. I'm gonna cast light on it so I can see really quick. Okay, um... The horn illuminates. But it gives off no light. You can hmm. see the horn now, but you cannot... There is no radiance of light coming from the horn. It is like just... Some pervasive, Weird. strange, magical darkness that is 
far, far superior to whatever your light spell is. You can see, maybe, at the most, two feet in front of you. You can see your hands, but as soon as you move your hands at arm's length, they disappear in front of you. You can see the glowing horn, but there is no illumination coming off the horn. The other thing you're noticing here is the air feels very, very thick and dense, and you're having to, like... <sighs> take like really deep breaths to get oxygen it's like hmm. the water doesn't feel cold but the effect of jumping in cold water kind of <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so i'm just holding the slack rope and i'm gonna start pulling it back okay as i look worriedly towards the hole right, well you soon have a big in a big pile of rope laying next to you um, uh with one like listen. long breath i'm just gonna let out a Okay. Um, <laughs> if you will, please trip. Uh -oh. Mark off a temporary hit point. So basically, I need you to keep track of these hit points separately. Um, deduct one hit point, but you need to mark it separately somewhere else. I'm so scared. Okay. For all intents and purposes, it, it mm. is a lost hit point, but I need it to be tracked differently from anything else. Okay. okay. So yeah, you guys hear a 2D2 2 or whatever it is. That means uh, we it's, jump. It's, it's the single toot. The single yeah. toot. Okay, the ball. I mean, I'm gonna hand oh, so I'm gonna hand the rope back to the people who gave me the rope. I'd obviously untie it. Okay. And I'm going to go to the edge and get on my belly and slither with the intention of just sliding you know, off. Sliding belly first <laughs> Face off. Face first, let's go. Because it's yeah. Trip, and I'm closest to him. Okay. And he's, I'm separated, I'm worried. So. Knowing this, I'd probably swim a little out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. I mean, whenever you went down and came back up, you probably didn't come up in the exact same spot. Yeah. So. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, you I'm, slip I'm off, off the far. edge and into the realm of suddenly the feel weightless and start to descend. As yep. You can feel the air rushing by you, oh and this is God. like, um, yeah, yep. pro probably a terrible, terrifying thing all in all together. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try my hardest not to belly flop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> turn myself into a pencil position. Um, like clench my butt cheeks, you know. Like, I'm assuming you're gonna take a deep breath as soon as you're able oh, to, because you know. I mean, um, all right. So, Trip, you will hear a loud splash. A very loud splash. Um, probably have water sprayed over you from the mm -hmm. huge form of Uncle Seth bombing into the water a couple of feet away from you. <laughs> um, same thing, Seth. It doesn't feel that cold. Um, you go down. As soon as your weight kind of slows with the water, you're able to swim back to the top. <sighs> your head bursts out of the top, but uh, you can see nothing. Now, I do have dark vision, but I still can't you see. You can see nothing. Yep. Shit. Okay. Doesn't, oh, no. doesn't work. Uh, you can see drip. two feet in front of you. Like, uh, I'm over. I'm over here. I'm over this way. Um, I'm gonna swim towards. Okay. The once you guys bush. are like this close to each other, like as you hold, hold eventually you get really really close, and there you're able to see each other, and it's like oh, 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 and put your hands on each other. But that's about it. Beyond yep. that, um, I'm, I'm gonna grab Trip's hand and then go on my back to try to float. Uh, actually, the other thing is you could you could <laughs> see the glo the glowing horn. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. So I'll head that way, yeah. But it's like a weird thing, because it's like you can see the glowing horn in the darkness, but it is giving off no light. Does that make sense? You see what it I'm saying? It makes sense. Yeah. I get you. I get you. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to float on my back so I don't expend more energy treading water. Okay. Um, you are also noticing the air is incredibly thick down here, <sighs> and you are also going to mark off a temporary hit point for me. Okay. But I'm the king of temporary hit points, so I, you know, I'm okay. Yep. As long as you track it separate, we're good. Yeah, okay. Any takers on thirdses? <laughs> uh, Dad, uh, Octavius, I'm, what if we uh, held hands and did this together? Because I'm a little freaked out right now. I would love that idea, of, co of course. Yes, I. we can do that. Can I, can I be in the middle so I can hold both of your hands? <laughs> Fine. Sure. <laughs> okay. Can we slide on our bellies too or just jump? Can 
can we can we swing hands a little bit like like we used to when we went Dad, on walks? Dad, this is a very serious situation, and I'm very Ooh, not, I'm Skip to the You're also kind of almost on your bellies, remember, to get in the hole. So oh, right. <laughs> it's not much swinging. <laughs> swing in the air, up. Okay, on three. Let's, let's go. Okay. One. Two. Two. I'm just gonna. Oh. One, three. Oh, guys. Oh, I guess. I was second <laughs> in the order. So well, definitely made more sense <laughs> if the dad went last, but that's fine. There you go. <laughs> okay. Um, so each of you, you all kind of like slide in together holding hands. Is that the game plan? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So down and down and down into the darkness, you disappear. Um, shortly afterwards, Seth. And um, Trip will hear as the three of them hit the water, and water goes everywhere. Um, same thing for all of you guys. Um, the water is not cold, it is wet. You kind of go down and start to swim your way back up, and as you break surface, um, same thing. Air is very thick and dense. Every one of you can only see a maximum of two feet in front of you, and each one of you needs to mark off the three new people. Mark off one temporary hit point, please. Okay. Okay, um... What do you guys want to do? You are all treading water in thick black air and thick black liquid. I'm going to hit a point where the darkness is just so, you know, like, we can't really see where to go. Mm -hmm. Um... And uh, just being, I'm going to use the holy symbol of Ravenkind to shed sunlight and see if that does anything. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I right. forgot I could do that. <coughs> so I think it uses um, all of the charges, but. Yep. Well, that that recharges, right? Right. Yeah, like. Oh, it, it does recharge, but like, so much. Yeah, use it again today, right? Yep. Okay. Hold on. Damn. Get ten minutes of that. Well, let me see here. Holy symbol of Ravenkind. I don't have the official description. I just have that I have. I do. <laughs> I do. Ten charges. One d six plus four at dawn. I can. Okay, five charges for ten minutes of sunlight. That's what okay. it was. Yeah. Find the. There we are. Hold on. Go Here we go. go. All right. Add it as a class ability, just so I have the good. As an action, you can expend five charges, which is present the holy symbol. It sheds bright light in a thirty-foot radius and a dim light for an additional thirty feet for ten minutes. Okay. So here's what it does. It glows and. <laughs> Huge bright light blasts out from the thing, um, virtually blinding anybody that was not shielding their eyes because instantly there's an incredibly bright light and you have been immersed in total darkness. So everyone's like, ah, like shit to your eyes. Sorry, um, I panicked. But <laughs> so what you see is as it pulses out, you realize that you're in a pool of water that's probably about a hundred foot diameter um, there are you can get out of it in any direction by the looks of it and beyond that is open cavern but you can't really see anything else but after the initial pulse nothing mm. it was powerful enough to basically blast a hole in this just long enough to illuminate the area but it does not stick, does not radiate. It is gone. Can we all see the horn? Yeah, right next to you. Yeah, everybody can. Everybody, everybody can see the horn. Yes. Because you're I'm all going liking to, a little. I'm, I'm going for a swim that way. Just follow the horn. And if yeah. you see the horn go underwater, somebody please help. <laughs> <laughs> I think yep. we should still all hold hands. It's just a suggestion of mine, though. We're swimming. <laughs> we can swim with our legs in one hand. Not you can anything. do that. I'm <laughs> wearing <laughs> some armor. Oh. 
just yeah, no, I'm I'm just gonna swim alone. And, and we're safe. Towards with Trip. Okay. Okay. Emma has a cr crazy tight grip. So on Trip, you just right start now. swimming in that direction, and then yeah. Seth, as soon as you see the the horn moving in waves moving. along, you're gonna start mm -hmm. swimming after it. Yep. Okay. Um, everybody else is doing the exact same thing, or? Yeah, they're just following along, right? That's what I'm asking. Is anybody not following along? No. <laughs> just for <laughs> clarification. Okay. All right. Um, Want to go. You continue to swim. Um, okay. Everybody mark off another hit point. I'm dying. Um, and no more than maybe... 20 feet into the swim, you are suddenly aware of a weird undertow. Something is moving down there. Yeah, no, we're oh picking up our pace. Yep. Picking up our pace. Uh, I mean, quick, quick, quick. It's kind of, I mean, there's only so fast you can go, like, one-handed. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm, I'm swimming <laughs> without one, with both hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm still holding on to dad, actually. <laughs> okay, so you're just you still clinging on to hand. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um... You can kind of feel like the water is almost like it's starting to spiral. It's like trying to pull you back. Like, back towards the center. Um, at this point, um, Trip, you're ahead of it, so you're going to swim your way out. Um, so we're going to need a few rolls here. So um, I, I, I was very close to Trip. You are. Um, <laughs> so, the, yeah, it'll be a uh, differing difficulty. So um, you are the next in line, so the easiest swim for you will be... Uh, will be for Seth. Uh, give me an athletic skill roll. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Well, my athletics is pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Ooh, nice. Um, it's not strong enough for you to really be hindered. You're able to kind of push for it. Who is next? I, I know Douglas has got to be ahead of... Yeah. Um... Douglas has to be ahead of Gemma. Where is... Yeah, but I think I'm ahead of both of them. Okay, then you're next. Okay. okay. Um, your DC is two higher than Seth's was. Go ahead. Okay, that's an athletics roll you said? Yeah, it's 14 DC for you. Yeah, I don't have a very good athletics. Seth's was 12, uh, yours is 14. Uh, strength save? Is that basically what it is? Um, it, it's an athletic skill. Oh, athletic skill. Oh, skill, skill. Okay. Remember, you guys do have inspiration. And if you've got, um, if you're, if your passive is higher than fourteen, you automatically pass. Oh, it's not. Mine's a twelve. Okay. Let's see. Then you need to roll. I'll see what I can try at least just by myself first. E. Okay. Mm. All right. Um, if you want to have advantage on that and roll it again, you could use your inspiration. But the guy I'm telling you, the chance of me rolling higher than fourteen is not good. Right. So I don't think I'd use my advantage yet. Okay. I, don't, I don't think I'd use my inspiration yet. Okay. All right. Um, then Douglas is next. Yours is a 16. I have the yeah. best strength, so. Yeah. And again, if your athletics is 16 or higher, you automatically pass. No. Hey. Oh, it's oh, it's a negative? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, no. Okay. You have to roll oh. a 7. Oh, no. Uh, and Gemma, as soon as you're last, you're closest to the center of the undertow. You have an 18. Oh shit! It's also a negative. <laughs> oh yeah, no! We're kind of we're kind of boned here, guys. Okay, so uh, basically, um, here's kind of what happens. Uh, where are we at on time? Okay, so Seth, uh, sorry, uh, no trip. You get to the edge and you're able to pull yourself out. Again, you can't see shit, but you're out. And you know you're out because it's not wet anymore on hard land. Um, shortly after that, um, Seth. You'll pull yourself out. Um, now, I have an important question to ask collectively um, Douglas and Gemma. Are y'all staying connected or are you letting go of each other to try to fight this? Or are you basically both going, like, being pulled back together and refusing to let loose one I mean, another? I'm not going to let go of her. <laughs> if she wants to let go of me, that's fine. But I'm her dad, so I'm going to keep her okay. safe. All right. I probably would not let go of my dad. Okay. All righty. Um, so the two of you were kind of pulled back towards the middle. Um, 
Octavius is swimming as hard as he can, but yeah. is just slowly feeling like he's battling a current that he can't battle. Uh, and before long, um, Octavius, you can't kind of see them that are ahead of you because they've swum too far, and you can't see them behind you. So you're kind of like just treading water. And then all of a sudden, other than the fact that you're kind of like the, the water as it begins to spin is like... You're getting swished around and around and around. And then it just kind of uh, slows down and stops. And you're still floating. Like, you didn't go under, you're still there. But whereabouts in the hundred foot pool you are at this point, you really have not much of an idea. Um, and the same will be for Gemma and for Douglas, except they are at least holding on to each other. So the same thing kind of happens to you guys. You get spun around and swirled. Um, and by the time the spinning stops, you don't know where you are in the hundred foot of water because you can't see anything beyond two feet. But um, <clears throat> you are at least still holding on to each other. Um, what's everybody want to do at this weird juncture? Can we see Octavius or no? No. Okay. Hello? You can only see two feet in front of you. So you can see Gemma, and Gemma can see you, and that's it. Octavius, Trip, Seth. Can Get I over hear here. anyone? Uh, no, you can't hear them. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Don't panic. Whatever you do, just keep swimming calmly. If you tire yourself out, it's bad. Can I, can I smell them? Um, <laughs> give me a dice roll. Yes. He said the reeks. Let's be real here, guys. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's a smelly man. Mm -hmm. uh, Pretty good sniff. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say you, you've been enough around them to know each of their unique smells. You can smell them. <laughs> okay. Where, uh, where do you smell Octavius? Je Gemma, ho far? hold on to me, and I'm going to walk towards okay. Octavius's smell. Or I guess. swim <laughs> towards that direction? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, you, Octavius, you what are you doing? <laughs> So let me get this straight, Gore. Maybe I misunderstood. I can't hear them. Nobody can hear anybody. No. Okay. So basically, here's oh. what here's what it is. Outside of a two foot area, our audio and visual is out. It's like the speaker system's gone. The lights are out. Oh. Um, wow. Just doesn't happen to have anything anti-smelling. So. Um, <laughs> Okay. So it's a really, I mean, the whole thing is like, to, qu to be honest, if you think about it, it's fucking terrifying. The air is yeah, thick is so and you're weird. struggling to breathe. Gosh, because of anxiety, you're wanting to panic and breathe harder, but you can't. You're floating in water and you know there's weird shit down there. You can't see where, what direction you're in. You have no clue where you are. And for all intents and yeah, purposes, like, you're all clustered and separated. Great. Okay. Not letting go of death. So <laughs> I'm swimming towards the smell of Octavius. Yeah, okay. and if the water has calmed at this point, uh -huh. um, and I'm just kind of floating there for a minute, I, I'll sort of kind of collect myself, and I'll call out a few times to anybody not being able to, to hear a response. Right. And I think the first thing I would do is think back and think, all right, my dad ever said if I was able to get separated to stay in one spot. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. And I think he would just revert back to that kid thing. That <laughs> your thought is just stay put for a All minute. Right. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to do that, but that's his first thought is like, yeah. okay, Octavius, you've trained for this. Just stay put. That's what dad always says. Yeah, makes perfect sense. I mean, okay. you could certainly start out with that and see what happens. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I I'm, I'm going to be looking at, I'm going to be near Trip, obviously. And I'm just going to say, um, I can't hear anything. Well, can you hear me? I'm uh, you, as, if you're within two feet, of, yeah, within two feet of each other, you can. But um, I can't hear, and I'm going to kind of point gesture close to me, like so my arm doesn't yeah. vanish. And they can't see the way. glowing. They can't see the orb either. Mm. I mean the the thingy. So they are, for all intents and purposes, at um, this point, well. they have no clue where you are. Unbeknownst to you, of course, Doug has a sense of smell like no other. So. <laughs> But I mean, you guys know that he has that. But um, I mean, did, did you know they get, that I have that. Did yeah. they get eaten, Trip? I mean, what's going on? Okay. I um, have no way to answer. Um, everybody, take another hit point, please. 
And um, while you haven't heard each other, guess what, Trip? Guess what, um, Douglas? I'm uh, not Douglas, Seth. Seth yeah. Mm-hmm. You can hear something. You hear a low, strange growl. Sounds like something is not too far away from where you are. And it seems to be getting closer. Shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna um, oh my raise God. my hand. Whatever it is, you have no clue. You can't see it. You don't know yeah. where it is. Oh, um, no. So what do you do with that information? What do you want to do? Um, uh, I was going to cast Fairy Fire on myself to see if they could see you, but now that there's something else in here... Um, following the low growl, I'd like to shoot a fairy fire into the darkness and see if I can highlight it. Okay. Um, yep, that's gonna do nothing, I'm afraid. Aww. Well, let me populate my spell then and lose a slot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. I'm, I'm going you to cast it, it, um, but unfortunately, um, there's nothing for it to outline, or at least that seems to be outlined but based on the fact that it's a glowing light up thing maybe it's the same as everything else it just doesn't radiate who knows yeah, I um, thought it was against uh, yeah it's invisible I thought it was magic darkness damn yep nope I am going to raise my fists in the direction of the growling one with a silver dagger and one just bare handed and I'm gonna brace up to um, get some temporary hit points, which I'll obviously keep separate from the ones uh-huh. that you're telling me to yep. do. Okay. D8 um, plus 8 plus 3. I'm going to go back out there and see if I can find them. All right. Uh, well, we, we're hearing something. Is that smart? Uh, uh, so know. you get 15. So you're going to kind of like, what do you do? Like lower yourself back into the water? Um, uh, shoot. Or what's the game plan? Well, I would want... Do you still have that rope that we had? No, I gave it back to the people who had it. It's, like, ah. it's in the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Is man. it? <laughs> it might be that. at the bottom of the water at this point. Who knows? <laughs> gonna have to help or it's still them. up there. <laughs> uh, I'll did stand you not- here then. Yeah, did you not hear the growling? Oh, I did, I did. Um, I just Don't heard. leave me alone, please. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm usually looking over everybody else, you know? Look, look, we're, it's like we're back in Kanduin. Just you, me, and a whole bar full of assholes to beat up. All right? <laughs> okay. okay. Just, uh, faith Gather. in them. They can do this. <laughs> and I'm just going to wait. I'm going to just... All righty. Okay. See what happens. All right. Um... So we know what Octavius is doing. Um, so it's not going to take too long. Again, it's only a 100-foot diameter pool. Um, and I believe you could hold it together long enough to suddenly see a thing loom out of the darkness in front of you, Octavius. And it's probably oh. terrifying and frightening because suddenly there's a thing there. And oh my god, and there's probably a panic moment, but it's your dad. Okay. <laughs> ah, stop it! Oh! <laughs> Why didn't you answer me when I called out? I, I did. I, I've been calling. No, you have not. I did not hear a word you've said. Did you call? Yes, many times. I didn't hear anything you were calling. Well, maybe you should pay more attention to your lost son. Octavius, uh, okay. there's clearly some kind of magical force in here stopping oh. us from hearing each other. Oh, yeah, right here, by the way. I feel like my face appears. Oh, it's just like, it just like comes like, ah. <laughs> it's smarter to not yeah. let go. Like I said earlier, yeah. you don't listen to me anymore. You, let's you were get all, to shore. You were be, being pulled into the undertow. I did not want to make matters worse. Yeah, well, now you just separated from us, so great. <laughs> okay. I'm just well, really well, scared right now, so can we please swim? Yeah, well, what was your ethics check to try to pass, huh? <laughs> but it was harder than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. All right, kids, just grab onto me and we'll yes, keep yes. swimming. Yes, yes. And y'all just gonna swim in a direction? Can I? Can I? I'm trying to smell no. the next. Okay. Um, member. Yeah. Who you? Who he trying to? Who you trying to smell? Well, who's the stinkiest one? Oh, it's Seth, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Although they've all bathed very recently. I hope that they know because I have the sense that maybe if you know they 
past gas or like you know. come on Christy. It's probably, hey it's entirely no possible that everybody has shit gas. themselves under it. I'm just the current saying. circumstances yeah, <laughs> yeah you, yeah, you okay. smell me you can smell where they are maybe you have a nervous fart I don't know <laughs> So you're gonna start slowly <laughs> swimming in that part. direction. Chris is projecting over part, here. Okay. <laughs> no. Chris is projecting. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, so you guys are and are uh, Gemma and Octavius. You kind of hanging on to Douglas and swimming together yes. again. Uh, y- yes. I'll. I'm gonna hang on this time. If okay. I'm not being like pulled away from. No, no, you're not. Um, yeah, that's like what I'm that saying. Toddler yes. tight grip. <laughs> toddler tight grip. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, for the two of you on the bank, whatever it is that's out there yes. <laughs> is getting incredibly close. Um, you can almost feel some heat coming off of something like a steam, almost maybe like whatever it is, it's acrid breath. You can't see it, but it's there and it's incredibly close. Um, at that point, and we're getting nice and close to the end of the stream, so this will work. Um, you will hear a voice, a female voice, in your head that says, and Trip, you will hear this, and um, Seth, you will hear this. The voice just whispers quietly into your head that says, It's impossible for you both to live run what do you do (laughs) okay so I would honestly hearing that with the growling feeling heat from a particular direction I assume not Uh well it seems to be like wonder it's like it's out there in front of you like one minute to the left then it's going it's imagine it's almost as if you could visualize some some predatory thing pacing backwards okay. and forwards and with and its head turned towards you, watching you, and each time it exhales, you feel a, a waft of hot breath blow in your okay. face. Okay, so with the two feet vision restriction, we're yep. on hard land, but we kind of know where the water is in relation to where we are because we merged You do. Land. Can we feel the wall on the of the embankment, or are we just in like an open hard ground? It's an open hard ground. Basically, yeah, if you okay. step back, if, you know, behind you, you know, is the water. Right. Uh, and what is, um, yeah, what okay. is Trip doing? You're hearing the same thing. It's impossible for both of you to live. Run. No, I'd probably just laugh a little bit, honestly. <laughs> see, okay. see, at this point. <laughs> yeah, Trip would laugh. I would grab Trip's shoulder and start going in a direction, clearly trying to steer clear of the water itself. So you're running together. I would grab Trip to run with... I mean, yes, I would obviously try to save Trip with me. Okay. Um, if he would let me. I mean, if he... Yeah, no, I'm not going to fight you pulling me. You would in that... You'd, you'd laugh so when I as soon as you. Okay, as soon as you start running, and, um... So... I thought we were hunting, not Hypothetically, hunting. let's just say you landed in the water, and you came out on the northern bank. So which direction are you running? Northwards, eastwards, or westwards? As well, best as you can tell. The last... Place I felt the heat, I'd go opposite. <laughs> I guess is the way. I mean, well, I again, it's kind of going determine, backwards, right? and f- so you tell right. me what, where, where, when it's at whatever end, do you run the other way, right? Or honestly, it would be it would be southwards. It would be southish, obviously. Um, well, that's the one way you can't go because oh, that's, that's where the water like, is. <laughs> uh, right, right, right. Hence sorry, the sorry, east, I north, or west. Um, yeah, I, I, I guess, mean, you can jump in the water if that was a choice. I mean, it's like an instinct, but so I guess <laughs> northward. I try to get a, a far away from the water. Okay, so the two of you are going to start running northwards, or you're running and you're pulling him. I'm pulling okay, him, yeah. and I'll, I'll let him pull me. Uh, oh you God. will hear whatever it is, kind of let out a strange, like take almost like tape a deep breath, and then another growl, almost howl at this point. And then you'll hear like footprints, like as if something's yeah. running. And again, the voice will say to you, "You cannot both live. Run." Yeah, that's not stopping me from trying to save Trip as well. Okay, yeah, I'll, all right, I'll, I'll run that's with fine. I'll run with Uncle Seth. I mean, 
it's not in my nature to just like let my family die. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Fuck. <laughs> Um, it's both of you because you're both together. Okay. And oh shit! So you're from behind you. You're hit with what feels like a wave of intense heat. Um, 18 points of mark them separately damage for each of you. Oh, is it the temp HP then? Um, it's what I want you to keep track of separately, yep. So, oh. okay, okay. So 18, 19, 20, 21 for us. So. Yep. There's different types of damage I have to track. Alright. Um, so the other three of you will get to the edge of the water. And you're able mm -hmm. to pull yourselves out. But you can definitely tell that Seth is moving. Like, you can smell smell his scent is, like, Stink. drifting and moving. <laughs> <laughs> There's a waft of stench. Now it smells like wet dog. Okay. Um, Burnt dog. At that point, you are all very aware of something strange growling. That's kind of, like, moving in the darkness around you. Getting closer. The three of you. Um, what is that? <laughs> oh, no, um, I think by now should... I'll be pulling up my little horn to go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> can we hear it? I don't think we can hear it though. Uh, you cannot hear it. Oh, yeah. it's the it's the one that goes to your brain though. Um. <laughs> oh right. Well, who were you thinking of? Because remember, it's not uh, you have to specifically think of somebody and uh, they, they it, can hear it. But it, uh, people in general can't Because I trust hear it. I trust Gemma the most, and I told her to be the messenger, so I assume. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Then Gemma will hear it and know they are in that direction there somewhere. Over ah, there. Ah, Dad! <laughs> yes. Trip's tuning what? in my ear. That way, that way. Oh. Okay, Run. I told him to stop doing that to you. <laughs> stop tuning in your ear. <laughs> yes, I, I'm, I'm following wait, wait, the think you're in trouble. smell. It was the tooty toot meaning, meaning danger, danger, danger. Okay, let, let's go quickly. Just don't let go. Okay. Oh. And I'll head um, in that direction. As you start moving in that direction, you too will suddenly start feeling waves of hot air like hitting you like the breath of some horrible beast. Um, and each one of you will hear in your ears, It is impossible for all of you to live. Run. Shut up! <laughs> Get out of my head! Who said, who said that? My what ass, and I grab my kids tighter. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. My ass. Um, my as ass. you run in that direction, whatever it is, let's takes a deep breath, lets out a horrible, eerie howl, and then you will hear boom, 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 from, from behind you. And again, the voice in the head will say even louder, It is impossible for all of you to live! Run! Uh, Douglas just thinks that's running. his anxiety, so he just keeps going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. No, just keep going. Um, holding on tight. Gemma and Octavius, are you staying where you are with Dad? Yes. I mean, it. Can we do anything else? I mean, you can let go and run in a run. different direction if you want to, but. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, I'm, well, I, there'd be no reason for me to, like, change direction, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, Alrighty. I think hearing that just, to me, it just sounds like, run, so I, I guess I am? You know, it doesn't say, like, get away from each other. No, it just says it's impossible for all yeah, of you to live, like, run. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I, we're yeah. still running, I guess. I just squeeze their hands more so that they know I'm there and um, safe. Ooh. Any yeah, one of not... you have less than a 28 AC? 28? Uh, all of us have less than a 28 AC. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was weird. Combined, we don't, though. Does that no. count? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Combined, we're, we're way higher uh, than that. <laughs> Roll 20 just reset itself. That was weird. Hold on. Let me just fix this. Okay, we're good. Uh, I only reset the screen, right? That was strange. Um, Alrighty. 
Well, in that case... Twenty-seven points of damage to each of you. Same thing, a wave of heat just blasts over Gemma and Octavius and Douglas. Twenty-seven points. And again, okay. keep those separate from the any other hit oh, points. Oh right, you right, take. right, right. Ooh, okay. Okay. Um So then that's Both groups are completely unaware of what is happening to the other groups, incidentally, right? So just bear that in mind. Um Octavius, um, let's see, no, this would be, so, Trip and Douglas. And Seth. Uh, I mean, sorry, Trip and Seth, what are you guys doing? Um, You're gonna carry on running, knowing this thing is behind you, just burning you down, or? Oh, God, so this, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, you gotta, gotta stick to the character, right? Honestly, I would let go of Trip and push him. Okay. And say, get out of here. And I'm going to spin on my heels, fist raised, and brace, I guess, as best I can to throw wild haymakers at the thing. Yeah, maybe sure maybe once it's two feet from you, you'll see it, right? Yeah, I just want to... I mean, I'd be throwing haymakers, so punching blindly anyway, right? So... Hey. Okay. And that's what I do. Hmm. I, I detach from trip and yeah. stand my ground. But you want to shove him, you're saying, like... Yeah. yeah, let me push him away. From okay, him. Imagine, right. get out I of imagine here. I tumble forward to run. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> okay. Um, I, I simply won't. And well, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna park. Yeah. We're gonna put a pin in that for right now, and we're gonna go. That's my alarm for twenty three nineteen. I'm sorry. Twenty three nineteen. Twenty three nineteen. Oh, so what? <laughs> it's it's eleven nineteen. So I have an alarm. This is twenty three nineteen. I forget to turn it off sometimes. <laughs> it's all good. All right, so we're going to go back to the other three. We're going to put That's a pin so in there. appropriate for what just happened. Okay, so, um, yeah, the other three of you. What do you guys want to do? Uh, again, you can continue to run, knowing that this thing is behind you, just burning you down, or you can choose to do something else. What would you like to do, guys? Um, I think... So it hit. So I heard that, and it just hit all of us, and I can tell... I mean, you'll all... hear every one of you will, like... Yeah, yeah exhale in pain or wince or yell or whatever i mean um, it's obvious that everybody felt it you know what's funny is i would probably do the same thing that seth did <laughs> and i would stop and turn so you're gonna and just so, let you know, go with your toddler yeah, grip yeah. and spin on your spin on your yeah. nines I think Come at me, bro. Like, it's like total like anime like split Uncle screen has set. Yeah, we both we both do it, you know, in the two yeah. different <laughs> cells so cool. of the thing as we like brace ourselves and, and steal ourselves ready for whatever. As we both are like, go, oh! you know, we both get ready for whatever <laughs> okay. coming towards us. Um, all righty. Leaving. So Gemma and Douglas, what are you two going to do? So you'll feel tr as you're running, you'll suddenly feel trip let go. And by the time you realize he's gone and you look back, you won't be able to see him. Oh, no. I <coughs> that. I'm definitely no, no. going to stop. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We, lost, we lost Octavius. Whoa, hold Octavius! on. Octavius! Uh, I'm going to try to sniff him out so I can go back to him. Okay. Um, but are the two of you staying? You, you two of you are staying together, right? We're going to yes. stop and stay together, yeah. Okay. Don't let go, Gemma. I won't. I did tell you guys to her. run, though. We're not going to listen to you. <laughs> Okay, Unfortunately, just... they're not listening. So that's fine. Um, I'm just telling no. you what I. All right. Yeah. Um, yes, so good. you both feel like suddenly you feel like a wave of heat pass you to the left. Like it was hot, mm -hmm. but it didn't hurt. It didn't actually engulf you. Okay. It's almost like it it was distracted or something or other. But whatever it is is still out there trying to get you. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you, I mean, you can smell where Octavius is if you want to return back to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to run back to try to get him and holding on to Gemma and pulling her along. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, you weren't that far away. So if Octavius just stopped and stood his ground, um, you'll move in behind him. And, you know, when you get there, he's kind of all braced up and crouched down and ready to do battle with whatever it is in the darkness. Um... And at that point, 
you'll hear the footsteps charging towards you once again. Um, everybody stay in, in one little cluster? Yep. Already with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyone got less than anyone got more than a twenty five AC? No. No. Or you know we don't. <laughs> well, I actually don't know what your ACs are. I, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's not twenty five. You know we're not. Well, I thought bad. yours yours couldn't be, yours could be close. No, I have twenty one. I think it's twenty three nineteen. Yeah, my my hip. Oh, I'm sorry. It's only twenty. It's not even close to that. Oh. Thirty one. Everybody, because you're uh, all breath weapon together. Thirty one. Okay, let me ask. Let me ask you. Yeah. So everybody takes thirty one damage. Yep. Let me ask you this, Gore. Uh huh. Not that this has happened to me. Uh huh. What yeah. happens if my temporary points that I've hit, I lost, are greater than my max hit points? You don't know. <laughs> okay. That I will. But if, if, if that happens, if, if that happens, I'm real you need to damn tell me. close. If that happens, yeah. you need to tell me. Okay, it hasn't yet. Gemma, how how are you feeling? Um, pretty terrible. <laughs> you haven't maxed out yet over your hit points. Not yeah, yet, I'm, but I'm about to. Okay. I'm shocked. Um, okay. Once Down. again, almost in a panicked tone this time, the woman's voice is like, "For pity's sake, you cannot all live! Run, run!" Oh, what, what the fuck? Go, go! <laughs> Douglas falls to the ground. <laughs> Oh, okay. did, you, did oh, it happen no. to you? What did you? Uh -huh. I don't think oh, Gordon shit. knows that. Oh, you're on zero. You went to blow zero. Yes. Okay. Um, Douglas falls to the ground. So, um, as far as you two are aware, Douglas is just not there now. He's like, because you can't see him, you can't hear him. Um, like you were holding on to. It. Well, actually, no. You, if you're still holding on to him, oh, wait, you'll no, suddenly I'm feel sorry. the weight of him drop. No, I'm down. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> now, <laughs> when you the mean the weight wrong. of him drop, you mean it? You'll the feel the body. You'll feel his body hit the floor. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's the, the body's body, on the floor. <laughs> yeah, I will lean down on over him like, Dad, Dad, wake up. Um, he's not moving. Um, I start to take out my healing kit. I'm like, so that's Dad. that's your action. You're gonna take out a healing kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What are you gonna do, Octavius? Fuck, I don't know, Gore. <laughs> Let me, let me take this a is horrifying. Here. I Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Let me just take a sip. Y'all really stressing yet? Let me just take a sip. Let me just ponder for a moment. Hmm. A oh gulp? No. Let me just down all of this real quick. Get some Dutch courage. Okay. Is there any... Have I read anything about this... Mo like, Because to me, I'm like, oh, this is some sort of like a hunting monster... Um, Have I read about anything? I doubt it, but that's where that's where Octavius's brain would go. Was like, what am I fighting? Okay, um, it's possibly a number of things. The problem is because you cannot see it. I have no idea. You really all you know is whatever it is. It has some kind of eat based breath weapon, and it is very fast and. It's but in that the dark. does help. That does help yeah. narrow it down, right? Yeah, I mean, it has, it, it, it has four legs. I can hear it. I can hear it gallop. Uh, yep. Right? So I'm like, okay, I'm trying to be like, is there something I can use here or I can do? But if nothing's really coming to mind. Um, honestly, probably nothing that's going to kind of give you any life saving, solution solving tidbit of info. Why didn't you fucking run, you <laughs> fool? Of a because father. you're her you're kid and she's not going to leave her son. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So this voice, okay. Do I recognize the voice, Gore? No. It's just, um, at well, uh, I'll take that back. It was the same voice that gave you the warnings of foreboding whenever you first went into the Gulf Ice Tree. That basically said, once you go in, there is no coming out. You know, you're not coming out unless you win. Wait a second. What? You're dead. You can't say anything. <laughs> well, I'm not. But I have this blood spear. Oh no, that's for if I kill something. Never mind. Yeah, you have to. You have to do a killing to get hit points from that. Kill yourself. You have to do murdering. You have to commit someone, a murder. Someone stab me. You have to me. do a treason. <laughs> um. 
Okay, sorry. Um, I'm just sorry. trying to, again, my brain would be yep. running of trying to figure out if and what this thing is. I, I mean, you, you basically know that right now you and Gemma are sitting ducks. I mean, that's obvious. Yeah. Um, I am going to do... Oh, boy. Okay. I am going to... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to grab Gemma. Okay. And I am going to, like, grab her by the arms and I, I'm gonna like push her I'm gonna really try to push her away and be like run okay so you like, like grab hold of her and then kit. like push <laughs> yep okay. and I'm gonna run in the opposite direction okay alright so I'm like okay I'm trying to, I'm gonna maybe listen to this voice cause if, if it, it was warning before it might be I don't know but it's telling us we gotta split up and run so that's what I'm going to do at this point. Alrighty. And I'm gonna okay. do my best, Gore. I know that I, this might be really tough in this situation. I'm gonna do my best to try to keep a direction of which way I'm running. Like I'm not gonna swerve too much so that I can hopefully turn around at some point. You could point turn on a dime and back. walk straight back, yeah. Or, yes, to try to be find- fairly close, yeah. Yes, to try to find my dad in this situation. I'm gonna try to be cognizant of that as, as best as I can. Count your steps as you run. <laughs> as best as I can, yes. Okay, all right. Okay, um, I'm so sorry, uh, but I think I mathed wrong. Okay. So I thought we took more hit temporary hit points than we did. I think I have one hit point left. If we only took two hits in the water. Uh, you three. lost two while you were in the water. Yes. Um, and then you've been whatever damage you have taken. And but, I took those off. Um, I can stay down. I just well, no, it's your choice. I mean, if you legitimately math drama, you're on one hit point. Um, I if that's correct and I miscounted, then the I temp hit point is going to confuse me. Three on my me. temp hit point. Yeah, I negative three. No, no, it's negative. Uh, it should be everyone took three because you took one, one as soon as you got there. One when the water was swirling, and one before. We so you, yeah, you've <laughs> taken three temporary hit points plus whatever all the breath damage you've taken. Yes, so then that would leave me at... Nope, that's not how math works. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I'm, like, legitimately getting Radovan with the tiger how how close I am to death in the first campaign. I should have three hit moment, points left. Right now? Three left? Three. Okay. <laughs> three. Um... So you thought I he dropped, but then... Well, was... maybe you just stumbled oh, because of the pain, then. I'm okay. Um, it just really hurts. <laughs> So are you, so if that's the case, what are you all yes. doing? Okay, well then, okay, so retcon really quick retcon. to me, grabbing, <laughs> grabbing both of their shirt collars and <clears throat> pushing them both in a different direction. Like, I'm trying to, like, physically split us okay. up. Okay, um, I'm going to ask Douglas legitimately, is that something you would allow him to do or are you going to try to stop him? You're on one hit point. I'm stronger than you right I'm now. I'm on three. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. You're on three hit points. Yep. Uh, strength is still the same. So if bottom line strength is it's is either if she's going to oppose you, then it's going to be opposed grapple. Okay. Because I'm on seven hit points. I have double the strength of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have doubled the, the avoidance ability of damage. I'm sorry, but Douglas would fight you. I know what if I, would do it. Okay. I, what if I give uh, you a, a Of course you guys would fight. That I'm a parent. Sense. I'm not going to leave my kids. But what I if I kind of kick you in the balls a little? <laughs> I mean, you can try. Well, that would be I'm more still... than three that hit just, points. That would just kill him. What if I just give you a little nut tap? Yeah, that could be three points of damage, actually. That could kill me. Okay, so what are we What are we, what are we doing here, Gors? A strength check? Uh, if, if you're going to try to push Douglas, I mean, yeah. I'm going to... The it's right? a weird scenario because you can definitely let yourself go, but if Douglas won't let go of Gemma, and if Douglas is gonna like not is gonna try to restrain you, arguably Douglas can could potentially keep all of you there. Oh, that's a good question. Are you you're not physically grabbing me though, Christy? Are you? No. Are you grabbing Gemma? I think I still had a hold of her. She has oh, a hold did? of Gemma. Damn. Okay. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's what I'm saying. So if you're going to try to... Because I was just going to do that thing where the kid just goes, 
oh, and just like runs off, you know? <laughs> I mean, if you lip noodle me, I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. You can that's definitely do move. that. But I still, yeah. want, I still want you two separated. So yeah, I still would push to try to break you two up. So okay. So, so well, yes. in that I case, just... then really, it's you're gonna push, you're gonna push Gemma. Yes. And Douglas is gonna try to keep hold of Gemma. Yeah, so I that's think either way, it's still So a... it's kind of like why you're, it's yeah. your push versus Douglas's grab. So you two sure. are gonna basically be fighting each other. You're gonna be free from it either way. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. It's whether or not right. Gemma is held on to by Douglas or not. Roll that athletics <laughs> check, Christy. Ooh. I think we both have very <laughs> bad rolls here. Yeah, I have a negative, okay. so. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. go ahead. No, no, you no, first. You, Ladies no, you, first. No, no, fathers no. first. <laughs> That's how it goes. Do it. It's almost Father's Day. Come on. It is almost Father's Day. Yeah, what are you guys going to get? Yeah. Oh, come on, <laughs> okay. Matt. Okay. All right, come on. Come on. The death of my be children. Denied. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Okay. And that's when he screams as you do it. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, in that case, then, yeah. So basically, he'll let go of you and suddenly just give Gemma a mighty shove. And you'll probably like hear that. like 50 feet. a rip <laughs> as Gemma's clothing kind of like tears a little bit and it's ripped from her oh, fingers sorry. as she's pushed away. <laughs> and then are you running in the opposite direction to them, Octavius? Or. To who? To where. So you like, you push Gemma. Douglas is yeah. here. Yeah. Well, Douglas is here. Gemma's here. You push Gemma, and then you kind of run in the other way, or what's? Yeah, the I'm like? trying to. Sp I'm trying to like give us separation here. Right. Because that's what they're saying. It's like basically, it's to me the woman. The voice is saying, "Split up and run." Is kind of what like if you stick together, you're all gonna die. So you know, it's that it's that age old thing of if we split up, we'll at least it be can only get all one of you get. at a time. Is the whole correct, point? Right. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Oh, we'll all die alone. Well, in that's the, the thing, right? It's like, yeah. I mean, that's what the tree warned us about, right? <laughs> we went to Biden. Uh, we went into a hole, you know? It's hey. coming to us. All right, okay. Um, so, you do that. Um, and I'm not going to go straight to a cliffhanger here, because I want to, like, a preface for this. Um, all right. Um, we're about to do something we've never ever done on this show before. Um, so I'm going to be putting each of you in a place, and you are going to only. It is very, very important that you guys do not look at the stream. Um, because if you do, well, it's not going to really hurt, but, um, once no. I'm set up, it's not. Okay. And then I'm going to move you there. Okay. Um. Chat, just tell us then. Yeah, yeah just tell everybody what's going on. Tell us what Tell us do. with emojis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, I'm going to put each of you where you need to be. Oh man, we're all so close to dead already. Oh, well, that's all right. It's fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine now. We're all fine here. How are you? Good. If you uh, die, nice. Star, you Star, die. Star, uh, Star Wars. <laughs> Han Solo, Star Wars. There you uh, go. In the Death Star. Yep, I got it. All right. Um, Easy. Nerd. <sighs> no. So you're all basically <laughs> at this point all kind of like divided, split apart, whatever. Um. Douglas, suddenly you hear a voice, a very familiar voice, the voice of your beloved wife. Aww. It says, D D Douglas, I I is that you? Um, and out of the darkness in front of you, um, I have no clue what your wife looks like, so I'm about to show you what your wife looks like. <laughs> oh, oh, this is big. be hot. Um, is is Nat going to be playing real. her? Is they Nat going to be playing her? Okay. <laughs> so, um, Douglas, oh, let me Matt. draw your attention to up here. Oh, damn. Hell yeah. Um, out of the darkness... <laughs> Hell yeah. Walks, well, guys. <laughs> out of the darkness walks the image of your wife carrying what appears to be a very small bundle of white cloth in her arms like this. Um, 
And that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, Seth. Yo. Um, out of the darkness <laughs> steps a man that you recognize. My lover. No. No. It's your dad. Oh, oh, oh no. He walks out and he <laughs> <laughs> walks out with his hands on his hips and he says, I knew it. I knew you would be a disappointment to me. Oh. Uh, and that's all we're going to say about that. Oh. Um, Octavius. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Out of the darkness, you see, emerge two individuals you have never seen before. But okay. they are halflings. Oh. A male uh, and a female halfling. Oh, shit. <laughs> One of them looks and says, There he is. I told you we'd find him sooner or later. Oh, well, I never expected to find him here. Is that you, Willow Trip? Is that you? It's our little uh, Willow Trip look. And we'll leave that there. Gemma. <laughs> is it gonna be? I have to find Gemma first on my screen. <laughs> Her consciousness emerges. <laughs> okay, um, ignore that. Gemma, oh. why is it doing that? Oh shit! <laughs> uh, Gemma, your attention is to here. Mm -hmm. Out of the darkness walks a familiar figure. It's the young girl that you saw outside Durst Manor, the one that asked you to take her Rose. with you. Ooh. It's Rose. Why didn't you save me? Oof. I asked you to help, but you spurned me. But she took pity on this. And as she looks down, you see a familiar, bony-looking cat. <laughs> this oh. vile, wicked thing. You saved it. You've entrusted it, but, but not me. And that is where we're going to leave it tonight. Oh, god. my God. What about Trip? Uh, oh, did I save the best <laughs> till last? <laughs> trip. Like <laughs> Trip is just like ignored. Out no of one's the there for Trip. Trip. <laughs> trip has done everything that he possibly strong. do. Bond what? Oh, oh shit! No. Oh. And we're saying nothing else other than oh, that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit, man! <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we're gonna oh, leave god. it tonight. Oh. Ah, it's very cunty in here. Oh, I didn't say oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, time for a beer. Look, 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 look. Oh, hello there. It's me, Christy, D and D dad. I'm here to do all the things that a good D and D dad should do, like mow the lawn, fix some shit, drink a beer, and of course, roll lots of twenties. And if you like all this, can you can you pan? Oh, oh sorry, sorry, dad. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you look good. Yeah. You should check me out on Instagram and Twitter at uh, Christastics. And if you like D&D &D content, check out my podcast, New Crits on the Block. Anyway, I love you, my children. If you're seeing this, that means that I'm back to playing Mondays on Hobby Roll. My handle is Satchmo on all platforms, and if you follow me, then maybe I'll just, maybe I can... We've been trying to reach you concerning oh, your car's no! extended warranty.
nothing! Hi, is this my local zoologist? Yes, I'll hold. Hi, local zoologist. Yes, my name is Jay Nirvana, and I'm looking for a snake that has a stinger. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yes. I'll hold. You don't have any? Alright, well, if you could look into it, um, you can contact me on Twitter at Jane on Twitch. That's with a zero. Anytime. Yeah, or you could, yeah, you could catch me on my Twitch streams. I stream, like, once a week on uh, twitch.tv slash Janevana. Alright, I'll hold. Okay, thank you. Goodbye, local zoologist. Hey everyone, it's the Snuggler. This year, Jane asked us to go quick on our outros, so I promise I'll go as fast as possible. You're just gonna put all my information on text on the screen, aren't you? Son of a. Uh. Hey, uh, twitch.tv slash shagget here, um, and I'm trapped in Barovia. Uh, I'm hiding in a dingy basement uh, with some art, you know, the art dingy basement, you know, nothing like what you usually see on my webcam when I do streams on How We Roll. Um, and I'm not hiding from Strahd, believe it or not. He's a pushy Dracula knockoff. I, I, he doesn't scare me. I'm not afraid of him. I'm actually hiding from Gorbad, my dungeon master. Uh, he's out to kill me. I think finally surviving in 10 campaigns in Arconis throughout his stories, is he's, he's snapped because of it. And because of that, he's out to really kill me this time. Um, contact me at Neb underscore convos on Twitter, please. Um, your support will help keep me alive, keep me on the run, you know, keep my hope alive. Um, I really need to see what happens to Radavan, Emlyn, and Alekma, and all my other characters that I've played. I really need to see what happens to them. I'm very curious. Uh... Oh shit, I messed up. I really messed up. Um, I think he heard me. He's coming. See ya! Hi there, I'm Gorbad, and thank you for watching How We Roll. If you'd like to keep up with us when we're not live on Twitch, you can check out our other forms of social media. Follow us on Twitter, at How We Roll. You can also follow our Facebook page. You can find the website at www.howweroll.com. And you can also find us on YouTube at, you've guessed it, How We Roll for an absolute ton of additional content. Also, you can follow the dmblog.com for some DM tips, world building guides, and all things D&D related. Cheers, guys. <sighs> that was a long walk. Okay, they said Shagget was somewhere here. And the door to where he's hiding was a blue door. So we gotta find a blue door, blue door, blue door, blue door. Blue door. <laughs> You're mine now, Shaggett. <laughs>